All right, ladies and gentlemen. Now, hopefully, we are back for the 2023 Free to Play live stream day one part two. We went for six and a half hours on the first one. Just did an hour break to grab a little bit of dinner, and also while I was uh, having dinner, uh, sort of while I was cooking dinner, uh, I grinded out the side quest just very quickly to get a T3 science, so we can take Quicksilver uh, up to rank three. So we're we're in a, a good spot. Well, like our, our roster's trying to starting to <laughs> shorting, <laughs> starting to share their weakness. Um, moving into Act Four now, you know, there's there's some big blobbery boys. I got wrecked by Hulkbuster. I got a little bit clapped uh, by Black Widow's Evade as well. Um, but we're we're on the up and up, boys. We're on the up and up. We've got this. We're gunning for Maestro now. Day one might is is incredibly ambitious. Incredibly ambitious. We've still got 18 quests to do to get there. Um, so yeah, this, this might be a little bit of a marathon, but I think if we can average uh, about 15 minutes per quest, can do it before I pass out due to exhaustion. I think, I think we should be all right. God, that rank up was like 2000 units that off, uh, quote unquote offer there. Um, the good thing is now doing that side quest, we, uh, we just hit level 25. Uh, we just about to ding, uh, when we ended the last live stream. So we're 25 now to we'll take Captain Marvel up. One big problem in our very uh, very quickly assembled roster today is that we didn't have a poison immune champion and we didn't have anybody that could like deal with Hulkbuster. However, Captain Marvel is a bit of a beast. I think she's gonna, um, you know, fill that role quite nicely. It's like, oh, it's one, it's one unit to rank it up. One unit, one. <laughs> I feel like that's got to be incorrect. Is it just like the tier two catalyst that's uh, I'm missing there? Um, I, I think it is. One unit. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll go back to that a, a little bit later. I mean, one one unit. That's that's not a lot. That's not a lot. But then, if it's one unit for Captain Marvel, it's probably one unit for most other characters. I would assume. Actually, it's a little bit more uh, when you need to buy that. But uh, basics cheap, man. Basics cheap. You know what I mean. Bit, bit tempted, mate. Bit tempted. Uh, you know, you don't often see... I think that's the first time I've ever seen a unit, uh, an offer, priced at one unit in this game, man. So this is certainly uh, a first for me there, man. Uh, but let's go ahead. Let's pop out the uh, the chat and see what we can do. They've... Uh, have they drawn that for? I don't believe so. But uh, I hope you're right. <laughs> yeah, it's, it seems to be its original length so far. They shorten like uh, Acts 1, 2, and 3. Um, Acts 1 and 2 especially very, very short. Um, but Act 3 was st still a couple of chapters. Still uh, quite a bit weird to do there. Okay, right. This is the the, the team now. We've got some three-star Rank 2 champions. We are we're good to go. We're cruising. Um, we just go straight down the middle here. We've got some mystery fights for Hay. And got the final symbiote, and he has okay. We probably want to kill the all. Oh. So you have to fight either poison or bleed, but it's actually quite a slow churning one. So yeah, I think we need to get rid of the bleed node there. Um, interesting. Not interesting, I mean, a bit annoying, but we'll get through it. We'll be okay. We, we're gonna do this, lads. Whatever happened to the PvP thing they had in beta? Is that Battlegrounds? Battlegrounds is now live. But there is a, uh, uh, what is it, a season uh, of Battlegrounds, uh, particular nodes at the moment. People aren't terribly happy with, because it's a lot of fun interactive damage, unless you have uh, armor break and nullified champions, and there's a, there's a lot of interaction to the current meta. Right, I think we go for one more combo. Dude, I'm getting so unlucky on the whiplashes here. Yeah? And then we'll detonate. Perfect. Maybe we could have detonated a little bit earlier there. But it, it worked out in the end. Right, let's move over to uh, Ronan next. We've got this. I see there are some some uh, Mojo profile pictures that uh, people in global chat are thoroughly enjoying at the moment. I think it's like, um, I don't think it's that rough to be fair. I was looking at, um, what was it? I was quickly like referencing 
like Brian's, uh, one of Brian's like last free to play, just to kind of see where I'm like knocking about at the moment. And I think it's like maybe the side events a little bit different. And I haven't really looked into um, Rockets one because he, I think he tends to line them up when there's like a really really good side event, and you can just like giga push the account. We got we got a quick silver to start, which is a, definitely a nice beginning. But yeah, there's no like super. Um, Actually, I don't know about Rocket's event. I, I haven't really delved into Rocket's Scrapyard. Um, but for the Rocket Scrapyard rewards, it's like you've got two elements to it. You've got the, the stages that you farm. When you actually open the Scrapyard itself, what determines the rewards? Like, can I start collecting as a free-to-play if I've got enough scrap, like five and six star shards? Or are they gated by um, something else? If, if there are any, like, uh, experts on the Rockets uh, Scrapyard event, because, yeah, I just, I really don't know too much about it. Any any tips are uh, thoroughly welcome, and I'll try and uh, keep a, an eye out for chat the best I can. More like Slow Silver? <laughs> yeah. He, uh... He smashes some fights. To be honest, like, it's not... The, the fights aren't actually that slow, it just... Sometimes they feel slow because he's got such a high uh, hit counter. His hit counter goes up at like, you know, nearly three times the rate of other champions. So you've almost got to like divide his uh, hits by three to kind of get a uh, relative estimate of where he's performing. Oh, it's gained by title. Yeah, I thought it was something like that. So yeah, I assumed it was gated by title on that, like, I probably shouldn't touch it before um, I can make the push to the highest title I can, which is probably uncollected. I had a, a, a brief peep into the uh, Incursions rewards, man. Incursions rewards are spicy. There's some good stuff there. Like, I can get a lot of four-star champions if I can push decently high and even, like, the uh, one-star Incursions and do them solo. So yeah, I think um, we can actually get a lot of stuff there. But yeah, we'll see. Um, oh no, that's true. I'm not happy about this. Just need to be averaging like one quest every 15 minutes and then we should be good. Perfect. So when is this uh, account tackling Eternity of Pain and the Grandmaster's Gauntlet? I'll give give it a couple of weeks, mate. Give it a couple of weeks, you know. I need to uh I need to god roll uh all of the um the crystals first. This is the bleed one, yeah? Okay, we get rid of bleed. We got cat marvel for the poison if needed. We we should be alright. Um she's Black Widow here for a bit of fun. Oh, what's up, dude? Yeah, we instantly... We haven't uh, assembled any four-star crystals yet. But also, like, we could have if we went back and, like, 100%ed Act 3. But then we'd probably be doing that for longer than it would take to get to Maestro. Because there's, like, a lot of paths. So, I decided to put that on the back burner. Well, my plan is Maestro, and then... I think just kind of the monthly, uh, like, master quests. Monthly master, monthly heroic. And then kind of start making a dent in Act 5, see where we're at. Maybe, maybe do some incursions as well tomorrow. But just kind of explore the uh, the events and alternate ways that we can, um, <clears throat> you know, uh, flesh out the roster a bit. Because I don't really want to be bringing... Um, Friggin' uh, three stars into uncollected. It gets uh, a little bit dicey in Act 5 with three star champions. Uh, even with, like, the main account mastery setup and everything. So, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking on the free-to-play, that's... They're going to be very long fights and very difficult. So, we kind of need to build out a team of, like, five four-star champions that are all not Rhino. The good thing is, I think the chance of getting a champion that's viable is probably the highest it's ever been. Because, yeah, there's been a lot of champion buffs. Like, 
back when we were doing uh, Whale Milker, there was just so much stuff that you could get that was like, okay, this character like isn't even viable now. It's like, yep. Just means uh, it's a waste, complete waste. And there, I think there are still champions like that, but I feel like it's probably in the 10 to 20% zone now of like somebody that's like borderline unusable. And uh, most most of it's just great. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Slayer? What's up, my boy, Joey Maylu, dude? Great to see you in chat, man. Hopefully you're doing well, mate. I, I don't have too long before I'm dead from the poison to absolutely smash through this fella. So yeah, I don't think we're going to worry about the, uh, the ramp up here. Just going to try and get a detonation, get as much damage as I can, really. Just before I die from the poison, which again is it's going to be incoming. Oh... Yeah, I, d I don't think I got enough burst really to finish this one off. We we stood it quite well there, uh, <laughs> all things considering. Um, right, let's just use let's use Moto. I think to just finish him off. Class advantage, nice and easy. But yeah, Joey, I hope you had an excellent Christmas and a good New Year, my dude. Thank you for. Uh, I was telling a uh, chat about. Um, <laughs> what? When we were queuing for Goofy's uh, flying school, and uh, that kid uh, recognized me, and I was kind of in shock because I hadn't been recognized for a while. And uh, you're like, "Yep, that's Ian. You want a picture?" So that kid is the uh, the very lucky owner of a a one of one, <laughs> just just masterpiece that you can treasure forever. <clears throat> Yo, Zondog, dude, thank you so much for the super chat. I certainly appreciate that. What is up, Dragon Knight? Hopefully you're doing well today, dude. The master of CGR here. Well, you know, I go by many names, uh, but I assume you're obviously referring to me and not the master of mid, Slayer of Gods, who, uh, you know, not even uh, not even that good of a Cosmic Ghost Rider player I had. Bit, bit mid, bit trash. But, um... I'm just trying to remember, like, what was the best way to do this? I don't think it mattered to a certain extent. Is there anything, like, link in this? I thought there were, like, more nodes. I think maybe that's a boss that's upcoming. I think maybe it's, like, an Iron Man or something. It's, like, a, a ton of uh, additional nodes and stuff. Okay, right. Let's go to, to all the left-hand side, I believe, here. Yeah? Seen taught me CGR, yeah. Uh, we had private one-on-one -on -one tuition lessons. Uh, we trained, I think, uh, it was 12 hours every day for three months there, Slayer of Gods, and you just about got the hang of it in the end. I'm proud of you, man. You're you're one of my one of my best disciples, so really, really shows to go. Shows to go? Goes to show. <laughs> there we go. Oh, no, is it fully debuffing you, bro, then? I feel like I might have taking a slightly more difficult path here. I've certainly made it more difficult by going in this matchup. Didn't expect there would be a problem on the trash. Well, you know, you certainly messed this one up, eh? I think you know, a good, uh, good two thirty hit should do it. Just got a surpass my limit here. You know, this is one of the things uh, we covered in my uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider school was, um, yeah, just make sure you always check uh, debuff muni. It's a big part of being a CGR pro. Right, let's go for it. Oh, 
Oh, well, this is uh, probably the most painful matchup of the, the evening. At least I hope so. There we go. He's down. Oh, please say there's not a load more rubbish on this path. I think that's the only difficult part. Yeah, it's just just that thick boy ready, and then uh, might as well. I think I might as well just take that abomination. Or am I likely to get ambushed? Hmm. Just looking like the left path. It looks a little bit too clear, man. It looks like ambush territory. Well, to be fair, that is a pretty chunky abomination. Hmm. I don't know what I signed myself up for on this one. Should have used that one unit, bro. Right, let's go, Captain Sparkles. Oh hell yeah, dude! She's still slapping. Okay, this this can work. This can definitely work. <laughs> Even without the Nick Fury synergy, man. Yeah, she is. You get her to that uh, binary ignition, and she's just going for it. Okay, I think it's probably a trap, but we go left. Oh no. We're good. Okay, perfect. Uh Hawkeye. Um I actually really enjoy playing Captain Marvel though. I think we uh we go back. I'm scared like I'm gonna pay the one unit, it's gonna take off like five hundred. I think I think we just gotta do it. Actually I think I could pay energy instead. It's probably just better to pay the one unit though. In terms of the uh, the cost of clearing that quest and energy, it's going to be way more than one unit. Oh yes, let's go. Okay, I'm uh, I'm so sold right now <laughs> on Captain Marvel. Oh god, I love it. Uh, right, let's go, champions, guys. You know what they say: you've got to use your units wisely as a free-to-play player. But it's one unit, bro. It's one unit. It's definitely one unit, right? Oh, that's all I need. I'm just purchasing 0 0.9 of a tier, tier 2 basic. Um, Okay, I can <laughs> maybe see why it's one unit. Uh, I, I love how, you know, they're so stingy that it's like the... Uh, the oh, gosh. Literally the uh, exact amount of fragments that you need. But there we go. One unit pog. Let's get Cat Marvel up a bit more. We're we're cooking on gas. This is this is the weapon we need to get us through. Uh, oh my god, we can rank four Captain Marvel. Yeah, no hesitation. Let's just do it. let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's rank four Captain Marvel, and we're just we're done. We're done. This whole game is going down tonight. I think for oh, maybe uncollected tonight, dudes. <laughs> nah, that's probably not gonna happen. But this is gonna make my life a hell of a lot easier. Oh, dude, that was such clutch three star pull. Uh, yeah, let's just send it. No, I'm out of gold. Okay, right, I've got to have something to claim somewhere. Rank up a three star. Rank up a three star. We should be good now. Let's do it again. 
First R4 Pog. That's it, man. That's it. I'm telling you. Whew. The beast has been unleashed. Let's just... Let's go for it. We're going to be melting stuff now. I'm lucky we got a load of cosmic and a load of... Uh, we also got a load of mutant T2 earlier. We'd like a batch of crystals to open. But uh, this is going to be nice, man. This is going to be nice. Stop living on the edge. We've pretty much just doubled the power of Captain Marvel now. Oh, look at this. We're even getting back in the old uh, cheeky little three combos. I think I'll probably actually just get her to uh, special three now. We'll ignite her that way. Should probably have stunned Edible before, just so we can immediately go in and start nuking after. There we go. Right, that should actually put us for the next fight. What are we at? 23 binary mission? Oh, certainly one after. Kind of want to Nick Fury now, not to play Nick Fury, but just to. Uh... Okay, we we just go straight down the middle, man. Then we uh, we'll, we'll be all right. Yo, what's up, uh, Deadtron? Hopefully you're doing well. Yeah, I should probably add, add those heavies in after special too, just to uh, maintain um maintain charges. Makes it a bit quicker for the next fight as well. When you can just, uh, yeah, start and quickly ignite. Oh, she's just. <laughs> yes. Oh, this is what I've been missing. Oh, God, she feels so good to play. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. You know, uh, Captain Marvel in many ways is the, she's the pre-Hercules Hercules, you know? All right, let's get going. But absolute massive love, Deadtron. Thank you very much and welcome to the channel, my friend. Oh, I probably should have gone in there. I think we we probably could have gotten away with that. Okay, cheeky backdraft. Oh, we got it. Yeah. You know, th this is much more my pace and tempo. I'm thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying this. <laughs> right, let's let's go for the the next one here. Oh yeah, we're we're on good time now. We're on good time. We absolutely smoke through that. Okay, play next. Um, and then... Oh yeah, this is the one where you like take all the shortcuts, right? Oh no. I remember this dude. <laughs> oh, brilliant memories, man. Brilliant memories. I think, um, just CM Captain Marvel, everybody. Just, just zippity zap. He's the way to go. Okan? Okanch? Is that how I say it? <laughs> Sorry if I mispronounced it. But thank you very much for uh, adding a membership to the channel. I certainly do appreciate it. Hopefully you're doing well today. And also, massive love to Chuck as well. Guys, congratulations on ascending to six star members of chat. You've officially made it, lads. Right. Let's get the parry in. Oh, no, that's not it. Okay, we've got the parry. 15 stacks. That puts us over. We should be able to like immediately go in and he's already dead. Um, does that mean we actually end the fight with 25 binary ignition and we get to ignite immediately? Oh, dude, that's so good. Just need to sell this quick stuff <laughs> this quick silver dude we we got we got the champ you know we got we got the champ now there is actually uh you were telling me to awaken the um what was it the friggin uh void from the side of them but i don't know guys i don't know if we awaken the void or maybe get something a little bit different <laughs> oh god oh hell yeah 26 that is um 
That's beautiful, mate. That's beautiful. Juan, thank you very much for the $5 super chat. Hopefully you're doing well today. You've been sub since 2009. OG, my friend. OG. I didn't think I was... <laughs> I didn't think I even had the channel in 2009. Uh, maybe I did. I didn't think I was uploading until like 2011 or something. I'm not entirely sure. Groot's gonna solo. Do you reckon? I mean, you've got Guardians of the Galaxy coming out this year, right? Maybe they've they've lined up a Groot buff and they're waiting for the movie to kind of unveil it in all of its glory. Because I'm sure it's gonna be the biggest buff in the history of the game. Like the champion's gonna be so good. They're gonna they're gonna need a new category for him in all of the Google spreadsheets. It's gonna be it's gonna be ridiculous. Oh, we just ignite after this, right? Perfect. Spider-Man just played himself with that special one. It's just like that. It's like that zap-zap sound, and then the opponent just disappears, and it just, just does something, man. It does something for my soul, that. <laughs> Right, um, I'll happily take a Captain Marvel as my first six star. <laughs> yeah, just, uh, you know, get get a bit of uh, familiarity with the roster. Right, let's, let's go back to uh, a bit quick silver frying fist, I think, there. Oh, goodness, no. That's not it, Chief. Right, if we go three combo now, should get the detonation. <laughs> Still pretty satisfying as well. They both have like good kind of ramp up and detonate criteria on them. Ambush. Okay, this is the. This is the the symbiote, or oh, the adaptoid, not the symbiote. So this one's this one's cool, man. The you know the golden symbiote. Screw that guy. That guy sucks. But the golden adaptoid's sure. Right. You go for the detonation here. Perfect. Hmm. Right, Punisher shouldn't be too bad at all. And then I think we're getting close to being done with this one. There is a, a good thing about the um the Venom quest, which I think is coming up in about how many is it? It's quite a few actually. I think it's like eight or nine quests now. We can shortcut that. Just go for Mordo. And I think we should be good. I might try Captain Marvel on it first and then, then go Mordo. I don't know. We'll see. And Mordo is actually really good for that fight because of the, uh, the special two. Yeah, you just got so much damage ramp off that. Plus the class advantage. Okay, I think we go. We try for the Mordo solo maybe. Um, right then. Let's do it. New accounts get good six stars. Well, you know, we'll, we'll put that hypothesis to the test. I don't think I often got... Like, my other free-to-play accounts, we actually started with pretty mid six stars. Like, my first ever uh, free-to-play account, we had Rocket Raccoon. <laughs> And, you know, we actually had, had a lot of fun with uh, Rocket, but, like, he's never the best character. But he, he still did work just due to the, the sheer, like, crazy power level that Six Star Champions start at. I, 
any any six star when you first get your your very first one tend to just be crazy. Right, let's do it. Yellow jacket. Hmm. I can't use the special two here, can I? No, I think I try. I remember trying like the second time I came around to use like any special attack, and I just got wrecked. It's like it pumps it per blast, and if I use my special two, dude, Cat Marvel is blasting a lot, boys. Got like several hits on that. Now, granted, if I had her awakened and I had the immunity, we could be blasting all day. But the blasting is is definitely somewhat limited. This power sting. Because that is, I I always remember that clip from friggin' Crossbones versus this one where I pump the shotgun and the shotguns just pump in and like I get clapped and it's, it's a sad time. No! Oh damn it! I was gonna like. Cheeky heavy attack and then finish. It was, it was a good enough, good enough uh, run on that boss. We got really um, a nice amount down. I think we finished with Black Widow. Bada bing, bada boom. We're good. Yo, what's up, man? MSD. Hopefully, you're doing well, dude. Okay, well, that's uh, certainly not how you deal with. One's a little bit easier than Abyss Yellow Jacket, but I'm certainly uh, apparently a bit more rusty. Oh no. <laughs> uh, those are coming in and I was like, if I press a special, I die. Uh, yeah, God. Ah, right. Come on, Quicksilver. You got this, mate. You got this. Perfect. Nice finish there. Okay, we're 50 minutes past. We're on, we're on good track. I think that was about 10 minutes there. Alright, play next. And we have how many more now stand between us? I think it's 50. Um, left here? No, we actually didn't go left. This is a bit more. We go right here. We go right. So we go right and all the way around. What's the boss? Oh, this one. Um. Yeah, the the shorter you want to make this one, the harder the final boss is. So I think we actually want to take the shortcut first, deal with a slightly more difficult Punisher, and then what? What are all the nodes on Moon Knight? Oh, none of these are actually that bad. I think I can take this fully buffed. Yeah, that's all good. Let's take shortest path then. Go for that. I'm kind of looking at these champions as well, and it's like I, I feel like I got a decent counter to pretty much all of them. I think we gain. Do we gain double charges versus energy attacks? Nope, that was just in my head. Reason. But I remember this guy's got the really annoying uh, Magneto special one. I suck at evading. Oh, got it that time though. Thank goodness. Alright, we'll give this a go. We got them stunned. Skip it. Oh, fantastic. Okay, we got Rocket up next. Let's see what we can do. Hey, what's up, Zayed? Thank you very much for the super chat there. I appreciate it. Hey, hey. I'm thinking of Torch. Yeah, I am thinking of Torch. You're 100% right there, Silvers. <laughs> Why am I not getting double, but it's, it's totally Torch. Does Cat Marvel need an Awakening Gem? Um, not really, but the Awakened ability is really good. It's like a short invulnerability. 
And there's a lot of uh, mechanics you can kind of cheese for that. Because it just gives her complete immunity when she initially ignites. But like, she's got all of the damage without it. Uh, but she's a lot more damage that's sustainable with Nick Fury. So Nick Fury synergy just makes her even better. Got five stars, dude. Hulkbuster's cracked, man. He's really, really good. Like, you can just use Hulkbuster as like a progressing player for like everything as well. There's so much content he's just really, really good for. Especially all the variants. I'm a, I'm a big Hulkbuster enthusiast. Oh no, I need to um, go for this and then... Then go for this, get the slow on Juggernaut here. Then to be honest, I think we can just detonate at this point. Might be enough. Yeah, perfect. I feel like playing Quicksilver, there's, there's so much source, there's so much utility, um, different ways that you can play him. It's very easy to get lost in the source, you know? It takes a lot of lot of, lot of just practice and getting used to uh, what you know. Go for him. Oh, okay, I feel like that was a bit tight, but it's still still paid off. Just gone straight for the uh special one slow. Although I feel like actually if I'm playing a science champion, I didn't necessarily even need to worry about that. There we go. Let's activate, activate the detonate. That Dragonaut's down. Nice. I th The more I think about it, like Quicksilver and Captain Marvel, they're kind of they're just so, so perfect because they kind of feel the gaps in each other's weaknesses really, really nicely. So yeah, I'm, I'm loving this, man. I think the, the, this is such a it's an odd combo, but it works really, really well. It's like Captain Marvel sucks against Mystic Champions, dude. Mystic Champions are not going to be a great time. But... She can demolish um, a lot of the others. It's like the armor ups would be really annoying with Quicksilver, but they're just they're just chill with Captain Marvel. There we go, nice little slide at the end. Just slide out, get that get that last dex. Enough time to just go back in and uh, rinse. Um, let's go for it. I, he does have the evade. The evade's a bit annoying. Not a fan of that, but like, screw it, man. Let's just, let's just do it. Mm, I'm going to use like a, a couple of health potions on Cat Marvel. Just get it topped up a little bit. You know? Don't need to be too stingy on these ones. All right, let's go for it. Juan, thank you very much for the super chat. How come you're out of retirement? So I wanted to do a new free-to-play challenge for a while. It's been four years, but I just wanted to like give it enough time so everything could pass. And also, I wanted to get back into kind of my video uploading routine so I'm ready for the new anime games that are going to be launching in March and maybe in the summer as well because there's Black Clover coming on the anime channel um, and I think that's going to be massive I think it's going to be really really huge and then I think we got Seven Deadly Sins as well Origin and that looks immense dude that could literally be uh, one of the biggest uh, mobile games of all time if it is good and it looks really really good so I wanted to get back in top formation um, both in terms of my gameplay and upload schedule, because I've just been like chilling for the last, uh, I'd say like six months in particular, and I've just been grinding World of Warcraft. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just like sitting here in my friggin' uh, pajama pants, cup of tea, just uh, 
just chilling while I've been doing like a little bit of consultant work on the side, but like nothing, nothing like too um, time intensive in comparison to, uh, you know, like the 12 hours I used to pour like every day into YouTube. So I kind of wanted to take the the new year, kind of get into a um a good routine, and also play Marvel Contest the uh, uh, Champions in a way that uh, I really enjoy, which is like just challenging myself with. Uh, difficult content because I always used to love like the three star master mode challenges and doing the free to play series has always been my favorite because you know you just you just have to deal with it and just move on like whatever happens you get bad champions like you just got to deal with it you've got to figure out like how to do it and I find that is like a really interesting way um, to play but it can also be really tough at times. But I, I feel like once you get over certain hurdles, that sense of like, oh, you know, we didn't have the best champion, but we still absolutely smashed it. Uh, it feels really good. There's a huge amount of satisfaction there. And also, I finally got my capture card working <laughs> with my new iPhone. That's something really annoying because I was trying to get into like um, uploading videos again, kind of last like summer uh, time. But I was having so many problems. I don't know if you guys remember one of those, uh, those live streams I did where I was trying to like mirror it, but just nothing was like working properly and it kept on breaking every like 10 minutes. I was like, dude, I do not want to live stream if I have to constantly worry about technical issues. It's like, we've been live, I think, for about like eight hours today. Like, dude, if I had technical issues every 10 minutes, I would be uh, not best pleased. Be very unhappy. Okay, right, this has got to be it. We ignite. Time to bask in this glorious special three animation today, boys. Got the maestro's head. There we go. Straight in the bin. All modes up. Shortcut. Yeah, that was really nice. We kept that on for 10 minutes as well. We're actually on really, really good track, the maestro. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling good about this, guys. I'm feeling very, very good. Coming out of rehab, I'm definitely like in gaming rehab at the moment. What I do when I'm not spending all my days um, making videos on video games is I'm playing video games, but I'm not making videos. <laughs> like, I played so much freaking Elden Ring toward the start of last year, man. It's nuts. Uh, yeah, def definitely sunk a lot, a lot into that. But it was really fun. I really, really enjoyed it. Where's this going? Also, I need to smash down the middle, yeah? Make that a bit easier. Okay, what side do I want to go? Left or right? Right hand's actually a bit less, I think. Right, and then maybe middle. Or right. There's, there's, there's kind of annoying options everywhere. Let me just start moving. Let me just check the node on this uh, Scarlet Witch. Oh, yeah, this one can be really annoying, can't it? Because... Uh, She's a bit stacked up, and you can get poisoned. And then obviously we got Captain Marvel, who's uh, is poison immune, but she's also a uh, cosmic champion. So yeah, I, I think we should still get through it fine. But we'll we'll see, lads. We'll see. Elden Ring stream. I got really good at Elden Ring, but then I just um, yeah, I just had to like go outside. I probably like didn't leave the house or this PC for like. A month or two and then i was like oh gosh because Eld Eld Elden ring is like a solo player game and it's easy to get like lost in the lost the source of Elden ring <laughs> so after i was like okay i need to uh, uh play something and then i started playing world of warcraft shadowlands and uh right with my cousin and uh that, that was really fun actually I, I really enjoyed that um but then yeah what did I play after that? Oh yeah, I was playing Nino Kuni Crosswords. I did some videos on the anime channel. And that game was terrible to do videos on. There wasn't like it's just a lot of auto farming and playing with friends and massively, massively paid to win. And I actually I enjoyed the few months I had playing that game. It was really fun, um, but it was just terrible to make content on. So yeah, I, I didn't 
wasn't overtly uh, liking that. But I, I think Black Clover is going to be really good to make content on because it's just standard um, kind of turn-based strategy game. So there's all sorts of fun stuff you can do there. Spotlighting all the units. But yes, if you are a weeb and you're like, see, you're back on the Marvel channel, don't worry, weebs. Haven't forgot about you. I'm still a weeb. I'm still actually the biggest weeb out there. So, well, not the biggest weeb, not even close. But yeah, I'm still still a nerd. Um, so don't worry. We, we'll come back for that channel eventually. Have I played God of War Ragnarok? I haven't. I've been too busy playing uh, World of Warcraft, Wrath of the Lich King, Classic, and Dragon Point since that released. So yeah, I haven't. I've heard good things. I've never actually fully made it through a God of War game, though. I always tend to get a bit distracted. I don't know why. There was something about just Elden Ring, the whole design of the game, the world, it just absolutely sucked me in. I think I'm also like relentlessly stubborn as well. So like if there's a boss that's beating me, I'm like, I'm trash, I need to get better. And then I feel like Elden Ring kind of had that depth of combat that just um yeah, kind of really we can't uh what is it just just hooks you in it's like you're trash you suck get good and then you're like oh gosh i do need to get good and then it's got a, a rewarding curve i'd say uh yeah this is just casual visit i'm probably gonna be paragon i would say by by sunday afternoon and then uh th then we quit for next year but uh th the plan is like this year i'd like to um i uh, don't really want to play too much on the main account might do some stuff on the main account not 100% sure, but like the primary focus, I want to be just like plowing through the game and like learning everything, getting back up to speed on new champions. Um, I'm just seeing how far I can kind of push a new free to play account and like what it's like to, you know, play this game without spending, I don't know, like $20,000, $50,000 a year um, on it. So I, I think that's, uh, you know, that's re really something I'm interested in kind of finding out. And hopefully we have some fun. Um, okay, I think we'll go. I think we'll go straight out of the middle. Storm buffed up. Storm. I'm still not the best at avoiding her specials. That's a bit of a bit of an area we need to uh, keep a uh, lookout for. But uh, yeah, we're doing all right. Oh, I'm all, I'm all good. But thank you very much for the concern, there, dude. Right, let's smash out another five combo. Go for a three, and I think the detonation should take magic over the edge. And there we go. And then we just need to get up the additional charges to 25. I think we're on 14 after that last fight, because we only want 22 now. So we're, we're doing all right there, boys. BG got Paragon? Of course he did. I think... MSD's uh, free to play account, you said earlier, I managed to get Paragon as well. Although, I would say I'm, I don't think I'm anywhere near as talented as the old uh, MSD. But, you know, I'm relying on the continued inflation of in game rewards um, uh, to, to partially carry me there. And hopefully, I can do maybe like a Karina's challenge or two. Um, I think there is stuff like these Eternity of Pain events that come in. And maybe if we get like a, a bit of a cheesy champion or we there are like certain weeks and certain stuff where you can just kind of bring in any champion i think there was like that hercules where you could backdraft and you know occasionally the the dogs are throwing a bone <laughs> and like you don't need the absolute god tier domination champions to win but we'll uh we'll see what's up there man Thoughts on Marvel Snap? I think it is a um, enjoyable game. I, I enjoyed playing it uh, for I think about 20 hours or so. Many of us on the, the plane and traveling. But like it didn't hook me in as much as like Hearthstone did. I've always been so so addicted to Hearthstone. Um, like I just I love the card design. I love battlegrounds. I love arenas. And yeah, when it comes to card games, Hearthstone is still my favourite game, I will say. Um, okay, what nodes do we actually need to strip off this Captain America? 
100% health. Let's get the 100% health ones off. Okay, so so what's the... Uh, okay, so it's kind of like pick your poison. Um, what do you want to go for? So yeah, I think we'll go for... Uh, it doesn't really matter too much. I think everything's fairly similar there. Seen a busy collab stream when? Um, we'll we'll have to see about that one, dude. I'm all, I'm always down if if Beezy's, uh Beezy is grinding out the MCOC content again. It could happen, but I need uh I need a bit of time to catch up, dude. You know. I think Beezy is um just completed Act Six, Chapter Three. So. I just need to beat him to the Grand Master, or Paragon, or both. That'd be good. I'm probably, yeah, not even going to come close, <laughs> but we'll see. You know, Grand Master, it can be a bit of a, a jarring fight, and I know it trips up the uh, uh, the best of people there, man. Oh, dude, I love this energy overflow, man. So good, so, so good. Okay, we're doing well. This one's actually slightly longer in terms of the amount of fights that we have to deal with here. Right. It's three combo. Get the detonate. And we should be good. Beautiful, mate. Beautiful. Right. Where are we off to now? I think uh, left, and let's just take out Iron Man. No, sorry, it's not Iron Man, it's Lucian. And then we got Cap, and then we've got the Scarlet Witch boss, so might just be a case of plowing through all of them with Captain Marvel. We'll see. See you next spending MCOC collab. I, I don't think we're going to be spending on MCOC unless they announce Glaive Thanos, in which case we're spending on MCOC. <laughs> but... Until then, yeah, I, I'm that fussed. It's like, eh, there's nothing I really like, want or need. Or I've been like, oh gosh, run and get this champion, dude. I just thought uh, I can't continue. I hope you pull a Juggernaut early. Dude, actually, Juggernaut would be clutch for the uh, the free to play. He's really, really good now. Um, I think he's pretty good for the. Is he pretty good for the Mystic variant? Like, I know he's probably really good for parts of the XL variant, but not the Yellow Jackets. He's Mystic, and they, they tend to get uh, Giga Clout by those. Oh yeah, we've got the friggin' Gambler's uh, Fortune Nodes here, right? Unfortunate, boys. What's that? See, and so you're saying that we are like your ex-girlfriend that you are shacking up with until the girl you really like comes to town. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying, saying MCOCs like that for me, you know? It's just just my dirt, my dirty sign piece, really. Um, until the until, until the new girl comes to town, man. And then, you know, we're, we're going to be going to town on Black Clover. Oh, I tell you, man, I'm going to be I'm gonna be splashing some dollars on that game, boy. You know, we're going to be we're going to be deep inside. Uh, that, uh, the PvP leaderboard. It's just, it's gonna be, it's gonna be messy, bro. It's gonna be messy, but at the same time, it might be fun. So uh, I look forward to that. You know what? I really should have made a conscious effort to get the speed up a bit sooner here. It's treating this just like any other fight, but we are on the final boss. Okay, we're we're almost there with uh the god combo. Come on. Look at this, and we're good. Double the stacks. I mean that's probably gonna be way too much overkill. 
We'll, we'll take it, man. We'll take it. Oh, has he? Oh, I had no idea. Okay, Beezy's well ahead of me then, dudes. He's well ahead. Yeah. I am, I'm not even close. I haven't even done the uh, initial completion. So that's something of thorough enjoyment to uh, look forward to is uh, me getting absolutely shredded to pieces by Kang. So I'm, I'm sure that's going to be uh, endless entertainment there. Um, right. Okay, so I want to go down the middle. Yeah, I don't want to go down the middle here, though, but I want to go down the middle at the end. Like, that's not so good. Is that the, the really annoying regen Magneto? Yeah, yeah, I remember that fight. That fight, uh... I remember reading a lot of upset forum posts about that fight back in the day. Uh, wherever we go, it's like five fights, right? Colossus both ways. Um, okay, I'm just, I'm just going to go this way. Actually, what, what do the global nodes do again? What do they remove? Was well, the stun or the fury? Hmm. Probably slightly better trying to remove the stun, just in case. Yeah, I, I think so. Because... Probably be some sort of scenario where that just doesn't go to plan and we get a little bit, a little bit wrecked. Oh, I did there, dude. Those wallet posters are really, really good. So yeah, tremendous work. Right, let's go for cheeky three combo. Oh, there we go. Oh, dude, that's the perfect ending there. So we're, we're straight into binary ignition for the next Punisher matchup. And we can just absolutely melt this. I think we're on five now. So we're... We're making a steady pace, man. Seen us doing months of content in a single day. Oh, we're trying, man. We're trying. It's not nearly as bad as it has been in previous... Um, Free to play runs to actually get to this level, must admit. Yeah, just because um we don't need to worry about like going through the 24 quest in like act one, two, three, uh, which always took a tremendous amount of time. So yeah, I was uh, I was a bit surprised actually, but I think that was a good change to kind of get those because all of that. All that content like was always pretty relevant because you don't really learn anything in those those quests that is relevant for the rest of the game outside of that. You don't really like learn how to play, and there's like a lot of the same characters. There we go. <laughs> okay, black bolts down. We got Colossus. I think Colossus. Does he have armor break immunity? I feel like he does. Also mean to armor break and armor shatter. Yeah. So Captain Marvel is a bit cheeks for this man. So I think we just go Quicksilver. We should be okay. XP boost. We actually have two um, boosters running. There's like a seven day one and also the the summoner sigil. Um, Wait, what's this? Oh, this is the Gambler's Fate buff. Gave me a bleed. Oh, do one, mate. Do one. That's not good. At least it's not a big bleed. It's a, a small manageable bleed. Okay. And there we go. Yeah, we, we didn't take too much there. I was a bit, a bit worried when I saw, like, heal block and bleed. Not that we really have any healing on this, uh, this count yet. Probably will for a while. Oh, this is going to be good. We're at 20 stacks, man. 
Just a couple of three parries, fully ignited. Let's go. And we also start with a ton of power as well. Forgot about that. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh wow. Cool. Cool man. That's that's great. That's good time. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, well, you know, I've I must say I missed uh, I've missed Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel, I mean without Suicide Masteries, pretty busted. But with Suicide Masteries and the Nick Fury synergy is just oh, Chef's kiss. I feel like she was a bit replaced. The death of Captain Marvel in the meta was the introduction of Hercules, who is in many ways uh, a better version of Captain Marvel, I think. But I don't know, maybe, maybe there's... Is there anything she can do that Hercules can't? I don't think Hercules has an armor break, right? Or well, I think he has a synergy to get an armor break from somebody. I don't think he has one at base. Uh, right, I'm going to go to the right here. Let's do it, mate. Let's do it. Did I do banquet event? Not really, my friend. I just like joined a random alliance for the last bit and just um, what is it? Gifted some of those tokens to people. Uh, but yeah, I, I didn't really uh, go ham or participate in it uh, to the extent that we did last year. I used to love CM. Um, yeah, she is still such a beast. Under the right conditions, absolutely just pops off, eh? She kind of is like the perfect champion as well for um, Act 4 progression. Because, like, the two things that are really common in Act 4 are just poison and um, armor. It's just so, so many, like, thick armor nodes and thick armor boys. If we had that Cat Marvel up earlier, we wouldn't ha have had no problems with that Hulk Buster. Would have been fine. Right. Can you like safely go in for a combo after that second heavy? I think you can, if you're quick. And I think I can be quick enough to make it reliable. I'll, I'll give it a go. The thing is, like, I still don't have that much health, but if I'm getting uh, smacked in the face, it's going to hurt. But we'll, uh, we'll give it a go. Oh, thank you very much, Dan. I certainly do appreciate that. Yeah, I'm, I'm aiming to do, like, a little highlight recap uh, after every single day as well. I think there's a bit more digestible uh, for some people than, you know, watching uh, 10 hours of me chatting rubbish on live streams so I, I hope we have some good videos some good openings but yeah thank you very much for your support dude i appreciate it yo what's up gha hopefully you're doing well mate heavy counter there heavy for a free stun i i am supposed to do that yeah i'll um i'll try and do it when i see the good opportunity to but you're right that is a that's free free stun free real estate there who am I to, uh, to pass up such an offer? I'll Joe, we can just go to town on Joe Fix It, man. There we go. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was a bit bit slow on the connect there. I always remember like going in after two heavies. It's a bit dicey. A bit dicey. Wonderful. Dude, this is also like without the attack and crit masteries, and she is just going for it, mate. So good. Okay, we are uh, we have 12 uh 12 quests left. We're halfway through officially. That was good. I think we uh we did um all that stuff. Those last six quests in about an hour. A little bit over. Not bad though. Good time. Um Okay, where do we want to go? Maybe this path? Oh no, this is the one that's really annoying, isn't it? Yeah. This one has the global node. Where's the global node? We need to take it out. 
Wait, or did it just get removed? Or maybe it did. I don't know. Okay, I'd uh, we just go shortest path then. I think. I swear there was like another node or something super annoying here. Maybe we're gonna have to swiftly uncover it. I feel like some D gen. Did it just get removed? Yeah, it looks looks alright to me. Dead of all's like slightly more stacked if you take the, the slightly shorter path, but screw it, we'll go for it. Oh, there was one thing I wanted to ask the chat as well. What is the cadence at which incursion rewards reset? Is it like every month with every event? Because I saw the timer, I think it lines up to like next week's event. Or is it slightly off that? I may have been incorrect. Um, yeah, how often do the incursions rewards reset? If anybody could help me out in chat, that'd be appreciated. Because I'm trying to figure out like when's the, the best time to, you know, make a bit of a run and go for that. Oh, actually, maybe it's just this, uh, this gambler's node, dude. Just give me, like, random BS. It's not, not too fun. Like a minus, uh, proficiency there. All 30 days. So does it kind of line up, uh, roughly for everyone? But, yeah, it's, it's not synced to the event. It's just, like, 30 days. Cool. And the next reset's in, like, four days, right? Yeah, we'll see. What are you going to do about my Act 5 roster is very underpowered? Well, um, you know, uh, we'll figure it out, mate. We'll figure it out. Probably, probably side events and stuff. Just to get there. I feel like Cat Marvel can actually hold her uh, own quite nicely in um, Act 5 already. Oh well, no, is that going to even land? Oh gosh, kind of. <laughs> well, that, that still kind of worked, you know. Just powered through it, why not? Okay, let's go back. Can easily solo the collector with one star Spider-Man. That's right, we'll just we'll get that one star Spidey out. I already did the uh, the Cyclops achievement uh, a while back, and that that was difficult. That is probably the most difficult run of the collector I've done. Um, I feel like if you get the collector down with Cyclops, like yeah, but I was I was a lot like uh, what is it? Fresh on my skills then. So we'll we'll see. Stuff's, I, I feel like I'm playing better the more I, I stream today, though, so I'm enjoying that. Like, uh, I was playing like ass for the first few hours, and I'm starting, starting to get back into the swing of it. But we've we still got we still got a level that we can unlock when we start getting an aggressive AI, and we can you know, bang out some cheeky intercepts. Oh, this is brilliant! So we're both permanently power locked. I guess this doesn't matter too much for us. Maybe it just serves as an advantage. Um, yeah, I think we just go for detonation. 14 stacks. Should be alright. Cool. Oh, thank you very much, dude. Yes, this new free-to-play account. The level goal was level 25 and above, so we've managed to do that um, for day one. So I'm uh, pleased for that. Uh, we are, we're rocketing. I think as well, I didn't I didn't uh, expect that we'd have such a big booster from... Actually, I need to maybe check if we've like acquired an XP boost anywhere along our journey today. Because I haven't. Yeah, I mean, it would be a good time if we have any further one. Because we've got like the initial one, plus the... Uh... Oh no, we got an attack booster though. If we do need 15% more attack for anything, which could actually be useful when we get to the um 
Mm. To be honest, I don't think we really need it for anything. Like, thinking about the journey ahead, we should really save our boosters for when we're going to need them. And my sweet lord, I think we're going to need them at certain points when it comes to some of the uh, the more challenging bosses. Oh, that friggin' Medusa, man. That, you can only bleed Medusa. She's a, she's a pain. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Wanted to ideally end with a heavy. Get a few more stacks there, but didn't quite line up. Um, I think we'll go... Does Daredevil... He shrugs off stuff, right? I think he does anyway. Yeah, we've actually made that fight a bit more annoying for us. I remember I always used to be super nervous fighting Electro. Does, it, does anybody remember the days where like Electro was like a scary Alliance War Defender? Because like you'd there was a point I think where there were like almost no counters to Electro. Outside of like maybe Wolverine or something. So you knew if you kind of like messed up to Electro, <laughs> it was like you're gonna die because you were taking like 90% of your health and return damage anyway. So yeah, he oddly, I've got this uh, sphere inside of me of uh, Electro still. Okay, ambitiously going straight in here. Don't quite remember all of his... Uh... I do remember the special two is quite short though. I remember that. Oh no! <laughs> I forgot. Uh, yeah, I, I was like, the special one's long. Uh, but I went in a bit too early there. A bit too early. The special one is extraordinarily long on special um, Daredevil. You just want to punish that that heavy attack quick. That wasn't bad, to be fair. I just these animations are so friggin' annoying after this one. Okay. Yeah, it's that like final punch down after like I think it was like six hits or something, five or six before that. He's just he's swinging his uh. His arms are in the air like he's a madman. Okay, nice. We've got 11 to go. 11 till... Or 10 till the big boy maestro quest. But we also have the Venom Venom shortcut as well, which is nice. It only took about 9 minutes. That's good. Hmm. Okay, what are we doing? Global node. Uh, chaos. Oh, this is the... Um... <laughs> oh, God, I love this quest. Yeah. Has this one still got the BS Luke Cage? Oh no, he's chill now. He's chill. Where's Chaos? Is that just on... Okay, right. Well, we'll just go. I, I think up here. So yeah. this I, I swear this one used to have like a global damage back thing. I think they removed um, all of that stuff, which is good. But yeah, I think... Did anybody else have this, right? The first time they ever did this quest. You just... You were like, oh, wow. If I bring in Spider-Man, I can just go straight to the boss. And I get all of these chests. And you're like, oh, yeah, I'll do that. I'll bring in just a Spider-Man. And then you go in and you just get ambushed and ambushed and ambushed. <laughs> I feel like that is such bait, mate. It's such bait. 
I totally had that. I'll, I'll be disappointed if at least like half the chat didn't fall for that. Because I, I totally fell for that. Oh, hello. Dude, this man's padlocked himself. He just got out plays. Oh, the parry. The parry's just coming in sharp now, mate. Beautiful. That was so easy. I mean, I'm also thinking about it in the context of like several years ago. Not several years ago, like seven years ago when like this was this was hard and it had thorns on everything as well so yeah right now it is uh, even tremendously easy if you've played this game for like a week or two you got some uh got some beefy boy roster you start started your account this morning that's ah, a little bit a little bit more tricky eh? a little bit more tricky Sorted, mate. Sorted. What's the timeline goal of this account? So the, the goal is Paragon, and the timeline is the end of the year. Um, but between that, I'd like to do some Battlegrounds content from, like, a fresh account perspective and just see how how high we can climb and whether or not it's possible to actually have fun in Battlegrounds as a free-to-play player. Uh, we've got a bit shafted by the uh, the luck of the draw on this uh, node. The bead one's not not super fun. Oh no, he's got unstoppable. Yeah, I just decided to go for that. I thought it was the maybe the right call. Yeah, I think it worked out nicely there. Hmm. Need to be careful if uh, Captain Marvel's getting low, though. Um, just careful of that. Wait, what do I want to go for here? Oh, yeah, I'll just go bomb. Let's do it, mate. Let's do it. Will I be streaming every day? I'll probably be streaming every day for the next week or so. Um, and then I might have a short break over my uh, birthday weekend. Uh, but it, it really depends like what we've got to do on a daily basis um, and what's what's kind of interesting as well. I should just detonate these, actually. Yeah, I've, I've probably run up the stacks a bit too high on this one. <laughs> right, let's just go for the detonation. Oh, dude, he's pretty much dead without it. Yeah, I, I should have done that like two, three combos earlier. Would have been putting him with a class advantage. Okay, I think we go back to the, the CMM for these next two fights. Um, hey, there we go. Maybe we just ride it out as long as we can. These next two fights should go especially quickly, though. I think. Actually, Hawkeye, we need to get ramped up. But then, uh, Rocket, if we can end at a decent point, it's going to go quite nicely. Yo, what is up, Jono? Thank you very much for the super chat there. I certainly do appreciate it. And I uh, I hope you are doing well, my friend. Dude, I love it when fights start with a uh, 20 second unstoppable. It's a 15 second one. It's a a long ass unstoppable. Just so much fun. Mm. What well, one thing I um I do love about that special too is like just how you can get the entire length of the arena back. <laughs> it's like your special two, they get knocked back, they're stunned, you heavy attack, and then you can just go into it sends them flying and then you go into combos so you just get them against the wall 
Oh god, nice. That's good. That's really good for set matches. Yo, thank you very much, Eric. I appreciate that, dude. Right. I messed up the parry a tad there. Okay. I should do it. Oh, I actually haven't had the opportunity to test out, uh, probably test out Buff Rocket Raccoon. I think I had a little bit of a play about, and I was like, oh, it doesn't really feel that that much different. Um, is Buff Rocket Raccoon good, or was it a bit underwhelming? I kind of feel like, and I might be wrong here, there were some really good champion synergies last year for older characters, but the buffs, buffs weren't that great, generally speaking. Were there any buffs that really stood out last year? Again, I, I haven't properly, you know, been hands-on with this stuff, so I'm just kind of curious. And also, out of the champion synergies, which ones of last year do you think were most impactful? Because um, I know about, like, the Agent Venom one, uh, Scarlet Witch or Quicksilver one. But yeah, l let me know in chat. Uh, were there any characters you got, any synergies that are just, like, absolutely just bonkers broken? Jugs, actually Jugs, yeah, Jugs, I gotta agree, is is sick. Uh, I totally forgot that was last year. But yeah, Jugs, I can't deny that, man. That was really, really good. That was that was a banger. Jugs, everybody, yep. Rocket was good too. Buff Rocket is great. Okay, there's 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 some love for Rocket there. Spent 4k in banquet and got. Three two seven, yeah, that that sounds. Uh, I can tell you, my friend, I've had many years where I've I've spent around um, that as well, and that does unfortunately sound about right. I think I got about two eighty one year with like, yeah, like six or seven k. But yeah, I've spent relentless amounts on that event. But uh, yeah, sorry to hear you didn't quite land in the uh, top uh, three hundred then, mate. That's a bit of a pain in the ass. Rocket is actually good. Okay, I'm 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 completely misjudged again. I need to do a bit more a bit more testing. Get back to it. King Groove's okay. I think King Groove was the year before. He's pretty good. Oh, hello. Let's go. Regeneration buff to start with, and I'm probably about to lose it. Okay, I need to pay attention because if I get hit again like that, I'm dead. Hmm. Okay, we're, we're we're skating on thin ice for Captain Marvel. We can still do it though. We can still do it. Want to save some of my potions? Oh, look at me trying to be slightly conservative with resources here. Let's let's see what we can do. Yeah, Nebula is fire. Okay, nice. I I, I didn't know there. Let's look into the the Nebula one a bit more. I know about the Agent Venom one though. Like I had a bit of a if a test on the CCP with that, my god, that is just stupid. Like, Agent Venom is just crazy with um, that Scorpion's energy. Hmm. I'm, I don't like my hit points here. Big crack upwards. Can I get in the special two just before? Okay, nice. That's good. Oh, damn it. The blue jean boy, he's too fast. He moves like a lightning bolt. You know, those those blue jeans, man, they just they dazzle you. They dazzle you. But we're we're going in. We got this. I yeah, I should not have that. I should have played better. I think just one more combo, then we'll just move to detonate and GG. At least I hope GG. There we go. Sword, mate. Sword. 
Yo, what's up, Ross? Hopefully, uh, you're doing well, mate. I I'm definitely going to be um, uploading uh, a lot of content and live streams for the free-to-play throughout uh, January and February. March, I might be a little bit more regular. I might be occupied uh, with uh, anime games. However, the next couple of months, I have a pretty clear schedule. And I wanted to get back into a good kind of productive routine with, um, you know, working, making a bit of content. There's only so much like dossing about in my uh, boxes, uh, playing World of Warcraft for 14 hours a day a man can do. But it feels uh, feels good to, uh, good to be back. We've put in a nice, nice grind today. I think we can get about um, eight hours now or something. It's been, it's been good. We had a, a mega live stream earlier and we're just absolutely sailing through it now on this one. Uh, okay, the War Machine boss. I remember this guy being a bit of a bitch. I'm going to fight this uh, Chunky Drax, and then I think we just go down the middle path. Path of least resistance, and then what node does this guy have? I think he's got empty the clip. Oh no, it's second line. Um, yeah, that's fine. No, nothing to worry about there. We've got chaos as well, okay. Um, Alright, let's go for it. We've got to fight this Drax though, he's a little bit more chunky. I'll just, uh, I'll check the, uh, the node on this man. Let's see what we got. Nothing about. Uh, yeah, nothing, nothing too, uh, too annoying there. We do have 28,000 hit points, though, so he's a bit more, um, a bit more beefy. But Ross, absolute mad love, dude. Thank you very much for the support, and thank you for the super chat. Oh no, I messed that up a bit. <laughs> um, yeah, I think we just send the special three. What else are we can do, really? Get, get a bit of damage out of that. And then just finish with this. Perfect. Um, right, let's go left here. Got Star Lord. Have we even fought a Star Lord today? I feel like we haven't. I feel like we fought the other tech champions. I think this might be the first time for this man. Spent fourteen hundred to get one point million, one point one million points, dude. I hope you get something good as well, my friends. But somebody's saying they spent out four k. Uh, I got three two seven. So if that's any any line of reference there. I think you'll probably be in the top. I, I don't know if they've extended it actually. I didn't look at the reward structure, but you'd definitely be in the like top five percent there. But yeah, I think the number one person spent what is it, one hundred thirty-five thousand US dollars or something like that, and was spending so much because I actually know. Um, like last year, I spent like ten k on the gifting event, and like it's so difficult to get that amount of money uh, through the app store because Apple just restricts it. Um, so yeah, I. I what was that? I, I just read on like a Reddit thread, and this this might be channeled, but he had to like make direct uh, bulk payments to Kabam <laughs> and was uh, doing it that way, like that much of a giggle whale. Like the store just wouldn't even process the amount he wanted to spend on the game. Uh, so yeah, that's, uh, that's wild, boys, wild. Um, yeah, we've got to go Quicksilver here, I think. See, you know, I spent a bit more than you last year and got 64. Oh, Tony. You absolute degenerate. Huge congrats, dude. Actually, with, with, with 64, what are you, are you aiming for, dude? Are you aiming for top... Uh, usually top 90 is pretty good, right? It's like top 300 or top 90. And I don't I don't really know what the reward structure was this year, but uh, yeah. The crystals, they, they always... Uh, those crystals are always like crack, man. They just... Uh, <laughs> You make them so desirable. It's just uh, always the uh, just an infinite amount of six star shards and resources and, it's, uh, and everything you need. But they they know what they're doing, man. Everybody gets milked in December. 
It's the season of giving Kabam money. All of you money. Like, uh, it's, it's relentless over the uh, November to December period as well. It's like Cyber Monday. Boosh, it's time for gifting. Boosh, it's time for Christmas. Christmas unit sales, boys. Okay, we don't need to worry about the, uh, the awakened ability for magic here. That boss is coming up soon, though. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> okay, that felt pretty good. That was, that was a nice time. Right, let's crack on. Oi, Gaia. Gamora. Black Panther. Hmm. Yeah, the Counter Marvel's still in really good shape, I think. Uh, really good. Adequate shape. It's above 50%, man. I'll take it. Oh, I don't know Gamora's new specials. It's the special one, special two? Or old special two? Okay, we're good. We didn't even need to worry about it that much. It somehow got all the health back. It worked, mate. It worked. Um, right, well, Black Panther. Black Panther, we don't need to worry about shrugging off debuffs accepts us, which hopefully he won't. But I don't think we need to worry about like him breaking the stun or anything. So just try and play aggressive three combos. It's kind of a good idea we start focusing on Cat Marvel around here to be fair. Because um you really want that slightly more aggressive AI, which you don't really get uh often below like Act 4. Is that gonna be enough? I don't think it is. Okay, nice. Yeah, that tops us up to like 18, 19 charges. And then we've got uh, Rocket Raccoon. Then Black Bolt and then War Machine. Yeah, providing we don't horrendously mess up, we've got enough uh, to finish this off. I just want to go to... I, I, I think I'm about to run out of energy refills, actually, so we're just going to go to the stash and claim some overflow. I think we have a lot in overflow. I'm just waiting for that ticker to load. Yeah, we're doing good. We saw three revives in Overflow, which is tremendously promising for the Collector. I'll, I'll certainly take that. Gamora's had like a million buffs. She's, she, she certainly had a few, man. She certainly had a few. Um... But yeah, good luck to anybody uh, getting the Banquet rewards. I do love those Rocket Raccoon matchups, man. They just uh, they just melt. We're 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 getting closer now. We're not too far off. Act four just goes on forever, man. And the paths they all they all feel the same. They're so winding. But I'm gonna be glad to uh, get through this one. But it's, it's got to be done, you know. I might as well just, like, absolutely power through it day one. Alright, we got War Machine. Up next. This should be a very nice fight. I feel like that whole Buster is still the most difficult uh, fight until this point. Like, whole Buster had, like, 40k health and, like, a ton of fun interactive damage. Right, I just stopped there early because I want to try and push him special too. Actually, I guess we're really going to easily do that regardless with the... Um... <laughs> oh god, that felt great. That felt really good. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, magical. Right, let's... um. 
Let's move on. What is that? Is that three or four? In this uh, this chapter, we got an elite cage. Okay, that's three. So we have uh, two more than Venom, and Venom is uh, well, he hits very hard, but we only need to kill him. Uh, so we don't need to do any trash. And that's very appealing. I do need to play well, which is, uh, gosh, can be a bit of a challenge. Okay, this one I don't think was too bad. What do we have on the last boss? I think it's a weird node. Um, yeah, he just, if, if you get hit, you get bled for a lot, so don't get hit. And also, um, it's like double power gain, but that's not relevant in this content because there's no special three. It's not like anything too important. But yeah, on this half of the stream so far, we've already done nine. We've got nine more to go total, including this one. One of them's that the the venom cheese, so like. Should be alright. One of them is a magic. I forgot what the magic is. Might be like start of Maestro chapter or something. Oh, I should have uh, done that a bit earlier. I want just like a parry gains and the special three. I just love that combo of just being able to like special three. Come out of it swinging. You got the power gain running. One more parry. Oh, that's so good. Then we've got like 23 stacks of single parry now. We get ignited. Like you gotta ramp up on that first fight, but it's just not it's just not anywhere near as bad as I remember it. I don't even remember it being that bad to be fair. You just need to get used to like playing Cat Marvel with like three combos and then it's just very quick ignition. I think as we play it been playing Quicksilver, you gotta ramp up like every fight, and it's like oh. it's all ramping today, boys. Yeah, good luck. Pulled a scorpion from the banquet nexus in your hype, dude. Massive congrats. I've I've seen some videos of Scorpion. He's uh, he's he's pulling some numbers. Plus makes Agent Venom like Archangel, like incinerate Archangel. Look at that, just straight into it. Nice. I think that tops us up to uh, twenty. Stacks, so maybe be like three parries or something. Uh, but next fight, we got magic. Might as well use Quicksilver, doesn't make any sense. Um, bring in Marvel Flat. Every quest does feel a bit <laughs> deja vu in here. Just gotta get this uh gotta get this down, man. We got this. And then we can unlock um what do we unlock? We get our first four star champion outside of Quicksilver. That'll be good. We unlock Act 5. Do some uh side events and things tomorrow to kind of get the roster geared up for the uh the collector and then maybe on Sunday if if we're looking in good shape we we go from collected but we will see what's possible man we'll see what's possible ah it looks like we got some connection issues which uh always fun to be fair it's the first time we've had them in like um what's it been about hours playing today so not too bad days and streams where you just get them like every few minutes and it's uh it's a massive pain in the balls oh 
Okay, nice. Dude, the XP bar is still still filling really really quickly. Um, yeah, I feel like this is definitely the most aggressive I've ever sprinted towards uh, Maestro. I think it was like three days last time on the free to play that we got Maestro down, and I think on the one before that, as a full week before we got to Maestro, like the very first free to play. So yeah, being able to do it day one, if we do get there and do get him down, um, he's gonna, gonna feel pretty good, I think. Yeah, I think we need to go this way, just purely to the fact there's like a little, little energy node there, man. We gotta go for it. Shang-Chi damage god? I mean, yeah, he's, he's tremendous. Shang-Chi would be uh, an incredible asset. I mean, you just demolish so much content with Shang-Chi, can't you? Right, run in. Heavy. Heavy. I'll just combo there. We got Cyclops next. Yeah, there's no way we're going around that Venom map, man. We're just going straight to Venom. Whatever it takes, we'll get him down. Might take a few tries. But we got we got some good options. Oh. Well, I'm, I, I appear to be getting finessed by Cyclops. I think like Kabam Mike's clearly taking the controller here and he's just he's gonna beast mode. Ooh, okay, that was a nice crit. Yeah, very nice. Right, let's go again, man. We we got this. Yeah, that that's the plan is Mordo for Venom. Uh and try and get him down. At least like 50%, and then we can go with like Cat Marvel quick still to finish it off. We just need um we just need like a good run with Mordo really to get us started. And then uh, I think there was one more champion. Oh no no, we are a uh, Deadpool now. Cool. I thought there was another one before the boss. I actually do appreciate the change, and this this is like this has been here for a while, but just two energy instead of three energy. I'm just I find myself smashing a lot less refills than I did on previous runs, but that has been um, life for ages. Okay, I don't know if he shrugs anything off here. I think we're good. <laughs> I I actually really like the new Deadpool animation. They're very Deadpool, aren't they? They're cool. Is is Deadpool X Force any good now, or is he uh, still a bit rubbish? It, was it this year he got buffed the last year? Because yeah, I um I didn't feel like I'd seen those animations before today, but they're they're, they're pretty cool. Been almost two years since me and Nano did a collab. Uh, will we see that again in the future? Maybe, dude. I, I think it's certainly not out of the, uh, the picture. But we just need to find a, a game where we're both playing at the moment, you know? And it uh, might, might be something like Seven Deadly Sins, Black Clover, but we'll have to see. Oh, it's my favorite magic here. Oh, sorry, I think I knocked my capture card. Let's try and plug that in again. Please work. Thank you. Okay, wonderful. Um. Yeah, I think we just go up into the left here. I kind of something about that route is is calling me from memory. Maybe you can go either way. Oh, why did I have to get the bleed at the start? It's 
Iron Man is playing exceptionally weird as well. Okay, nice. We got rid of the bleed. Wasn't trying to keep hold of that for too long. Just the initial fight here, get ramped up. Oh no, he has unstoppable. Okay, actually, I'm good. I'm going to quickly restart this. Just because it's a bad start. We like lost 20% of our health already. Um, I'm not trying to uh, use potions here. And we've got the the magic boss, who is uh, basically the worst boss in the game. Well, not the worst boss, but she can be very annoying under certain conditions. But yeah, I didn't see that unstoppable. It's like by the end of this fight, I'm going to lose. I have like 50% left. I'm going to need to use. Kind of potions. Not worth it. Okay, round two. Can we beat classic Iron Man and not get shafted by the uh, node crops? No unstoppable, no fun interactive damage. We can leave. Oh, yeah, that's great. Hell yeah, dude. Regen on me, bleed on him. Go, go for it. Look at that. That's like complete opposite RNG now. It's perfect RNG. This is this is the run, boys. We're gonna have magic zero limbos, zero limbos, no damage. We finish hundred percent. It's perfect. Oh, was I like power locked? I was. Oh goodness. Okay. Well, yeah, we didn't really hit ignition in that fight, but that is what it is. I like looking at the overview. Maybe this way is a bit easier. Mm, this has got kind of bad fights everywhere. Oh, what are the nodes do naturally? Uh, global node source. What's this global node? Mm. Yeah, I'm just. I'm going to go this way. Phones are a bit thinner. Right, I just know that rocket is going to melt as soon as we get there. Alright, let's do it. Hawkeye shouldn't be too bad. As long as I can get... I was like massively messing up the arrow of aid timing earlier. As long as I can get that right. I was trying to go for parry, but just like the god level intercept skills just kicked in there. I'm not in control of them whatsoever, they just, it's just a reflex. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, I think one parry just sends us into like Super Saiyan, Captain Marvel, demolish everything mode against friggin' Rocket of all things. Oh yeah, we're... 25, so we instantly go into it here. That's really good. Let's do it. Oh, that's not so good. It's okay. We'll, we'll kill him before we take too much more damage. Yo! What is up, Carlo? Hopefully you're doing well. Thank you very much for the $20 super chat there, dude. What's up, Cian? How are you doing lately? And I wish you could open Greater Banquet Crystals and there's no longer a Greater Gifting event. Yes, I uh, I decided to give it a, a skip this year. I, I went, um, you know, freaking hard last year, just, uh, what is it, wailing out for, for that event. So I thought, you know, this year we'd, we, we'd just chill. And, you know, there's nothing I'm that fussed about now on the Whale account. So, yeah, this year we're just going to be focusing on brand new accounts and see if we can... Um, get into battlegrounds on the new account and how it is to you know work your way through some of the lower ranks of battlegrounds because i'm going to be honest mate i'm getting clapped up the top <laughs> like my roster's not up there my skill is uh far from up there as well i think new i might stand a bit of a chance i kind of just some interesting matches where we can really like punch above our, our roster and our weight there so yeah um i hope that's going to be fun 
But um, yeah, it remains to be seen. All right, let's go for go for quick silver here. But Carlo, yeah, thank you once again, dude, for showing up today and also for the super chat. And hopefully, if you uh, wear down the gifting event, you got some got some pretty good stuff. Okay. Okay, we got to go for detonate here. We got so lucky on that last uh, set of stacks. Hey, worked out very nicely there, man. Is it only Doom Shock the Rex CM? Um, I think it's any uh shocks from a Mystic Champion. Or like damage sources from a Mystic Champion or something. Like Mystic Champions are really, really bad for Captain Marvel to play against. But they're, you know, if you're playing against her, you want to be playing a Mystic Champion. So yes, it's definitely, definitely not the other way around, as far as I remember. It's like every time she gains a binary ignition against Mystic or something, she also then deals damage to herself or gets dealt damage. Something like that. But yeah, Mystic Champions versus Captain Marvel are very fun. Very, very fun. She was given that one piece of kryptonite to prevent her coming too broken. <laughs> but um, Hercules, you know, he just he gets no kryptonite. That man's just uh, getting wild. I guess it's, it was his kryptonite. Maybe like too much power gain, right? Getting clapped by a special three. Um, I think Cat, Cat Marvel can just... That is a pro of Cat Marvel. I think she can just tank a special three if she's indestructible and just ignore it. I think if Hercules is immortal, he can't tank a special three and gets one shot. But I'm pretty sure I used to, on Cat, with Captain Marvel, like get to the ultimate of the opponent with like a second of indestructible left and just tank it and then just business as usual. I think if anybody could confirm those interactions are uh, still present. Should have just gone for another heavy there, props. Hey, we, we got it down, man. Use Hulk Buster for Cat Marvel? Or is it like any shock works then? Or... Ah. Yo, what's up, Rook? Hopefully you're doing well today, dude. Um, okay. Gosh, right. It's time to return to the most enjoyable magic in the game. We've got no defensive ability accuracy reduction here. We've got Quicksilver. we got a Dream. I guess the thing is about Quicksilver, even if we do trigger Limbo, there's not, like, that much to rewind. Unless we massively mess up a whiplash detonation or something. Goodness. Limbo damage is absurd, dude. Even a quicksilver is getting toasted. Yeah, I decided to go for a quicker de detonation there just to... Uh, more damage before I die. I think that's almost certainly going to happen. Please don't limbo. God damn it. Haha. <laughs> so, look at that. Just quit before she rewinds because screw you, magic. You're not rewinding that. Just take take, take that percent like a champ. And we'll finish with uh... Oh gosh. Like, Cat Marvel so easy to ignite now. Might as well just go for that. It's very far from the uh, the best or most optimal matchup, this one, but it should just be we ignite and then special two, and we can just power through this. Oh, yeah, we're good, we're good. Okay, that was that was a nice time. That was a nice time. Quicksilver would get a bit murdered by that limbo damage, though. Still, still a bit much, mate. Still a bit much. 
Oh, okay, we got Venom now, right? Shortcut to Venom. I have to play well here, man. Oh, unbelievable. Is there a character in the Marvel Universe that I want in MCOC that's, uh, I assume, not in the game yet? Uh, we talked about this earlier. The character that I want the most still is, like, Infinity Glade Thanos. Or, like, that would be, that'd be the best. Just a big Chungus Thanos with his glaive just mowing down everybody. Yeah, that's, that's still like top of my wish list. Will it ever come true? Who knows, but we can we can dream, my friends. We can dream. But yeah, thank you very much for the, the super chat there, uh, Munchie Macro. Okay, we're going to go with Mordo. We want to get at least 50% off if we can. Uh, Mordo is only uh, rank 2, though. He doesn't have a uh, lot, lot sunk into there, to him. So he's going to die quite easily if we do get hit. So don't get hit. And special too. <sighs> and we've got some connection issues there. As soon as I get relaxed, the fight's going to begin. And after this, we've only got the final chapter. And then Big Danny Maestro stands at the end of it. Looks like the connection icon stands between us and <laughs> get this done today. Okay, right. I'm going to put my phone down and have a drink. Still not loaded there, boys. Still not loaded. Bay L1 only. Yeah, unless you're a sick beast at being the, the special two, uh, which I'm not. The true MCOC experience. Oh, well, yeah, we're living it now, man. We're living it. Everybody having a good day? <laughs> I've been disconnected. They're trying to shut us down, man. We're playing the game too well without spending money. Kamama, like, terminate this account now. Get it off the air. He, the people can't know. He's, he's turned down all the offers today. This isn't how you play the game. You buy. You spend. You see money, you spend money. This is how it works. Well, it looks like the uh, the gifting event distribution is um, crashing the servers. Okay, cool. Uh, we're, we're back. Back and none of the buttons are working. Hello? Okay, they're working now. It weren't for a second though. Just trying to press stuff, man. All them popping up. All right, let's go. Let's go, Venom Fighter. Enjoy us. Uh, it's just like all the buffs, right? All the buffs. And if you get hit, you also probably get stunned as well. So you don't get hit. But hey, this uh, this is a buffed up Venom. But to be fair, this is my regular opponent um, in the next act. So. I do not have that many parries uh, in my health pool left. <laughs> a bit, a bit cheeky there. We we got the job done though. We got the job done. 
Oh, what an MVP, man. He's way too good for that fight. Let's go. Mordo. We got Mordo really early on. I think it was the last free to play account as well, but he just um, he shreds that one. Uh, cool. Have we bugged out again? Get to enjoy the, the aesthetic background of Act 4. The burning of the, the battlefield. Battlefield? Battle Realm. That's the one. Here we go. Look, you know, we, we still got a bit of sauce, mate. We still got a bit of sauce knocking about. We're not entirely washed yet. A bit washed, but not like, we're not 100% washed. Wash, you know, we, we, we're clutching some W's here, boys. <laughs> Mordo top of the mare, Hercules who? Never heard of that man. Name doesn't ring any bells, so I'm so sorry. Oh, there is also a group um, coming up. Okay, where are we off to here? I can't remember, this one was a bit annoying actually. There's much of a clear path. Um. Storm boss, tech champions. Did he want to go cosmic one, right? Where's, where's the old cosmic arena? Cosmic up here? Yeah, I think we just want to go cosmic path there. You just want to kind of play to the advantages of your roster, really. Yeah, I, I think we should do that. Just cat marvel everything. Pew pew. We should be all right. Uh, I don't think Cat Marvel's that good for Strange. Maybe we shall see, boys. We shall see. Can I say moist? Never saying it, my friend. Never saying it. <laughs> but but there you go. You know you got you got that. It's a rather moist sandwich you've got there, mate. You might want to put it in the toaster. Look, you've even got context as well. You lucky duck. Okay, please do a new special two. Good. Nice. I didn't want to risk like a, what's it, a bit of a, a bit of a botch dodge on that. So I'm glad we we took that on. So we'll play the old account, maybe occasionally, but again, not not too often. The plan for this year is mainly to stick it out on there, the new free to play. Not too much I'm fussed about doing on the old, uh, well, well account. Right, let's see if we can just um, smash this man. Please don't remove my furies. Dude, that's not cool. That's not an epic game at the moment. Okay, that matchup is nowhere near as bad as I thought it may be. Uh, does Juggernaut have anything against Mystic Champions, which means he's going to... Tear me open like a Greg's sausage roll. Um, well, no, I think we can just. Uh, yeah, I, I think we should be okay. We good. We good. I, I think anyway. Oh, thank you very much, Vortex. I appreciate that. We gone for a few hours, Ryan May. So where are we up to now? We are uh, Act Four, Chapter Four. And quest number one. So we've got this one, then four others, then we got the Maestro quest. I know, guys, we're gonna have to fight Hulk tonight. I don't know if you know this about the uh, the, the Act Four Hulk. He's actually got a lot of physical resistance, a really significant amount. Like it's it's noteworthy. So it's just something we we got to be aware of moving toward that fight. It's high levels of physical resistance, uh, but we do have energy damage, which, you know, is not affected by physical resistance. If it was energy resistance, it'd be a different story, but it's actually physical resistance. 
So, I, th I think we're going to be all right. I think we're going to be good. At least I hope so. If we use Quicksilver though, oh, I don't think it's going to be a good time, lads. I'm telling you, lots of physical attacks and physical resistance. High physical resistance. Bad. Bad for physical attacks. Energy attacks. I think going to work nicely though. We will see, lads. We'll see. <laughs> the blue jean boy will have no problems. Actually, no, I don't want to get too technical on you. Your knowledge of the blue jean boy is uh, inadequate at best. <laughs> uh, the blue jean boy does nothing but physical attacks because he's an absolute pounder of gods. All that man does is pound, and those pounds are purely physical based damage. So, yeah, in that kind of scenario, wouldn't be the best reflection of. Uh, you know, the Blue Jean Boy's damage, you'd be doing him a disservice. Let, you know, one of the one of the mystics, one of the energy champions take care of uh, the high physical resistance and you bring the Blue Jean Boy in, just to, you know, chain stun everything into oblivion. Nice. Okay, we got more machine next, and then we just go the top path for Cosmic Smiley. We probably do. Ah, pardon me. Sorry, I think he. I think he was like the only one on the path or something. Maybe should have ended with more heavy attacks there. I'm a bit light on my uh, charges now for the next few fights. Let's have a look. Um, love a lot of the fights going up north, I must admit. Mm. I think we go for them anyway. I guess we, we still have... like every, Everything's already beefy in this chapter. Uh, I think we just... Except we're going to need to heal up Captain Marvel and just do it now. Just top of our couple health potions. And we, we should be alright. Yo! Uh, Munchy Marker. Dude, thank you so much. You sent over a load of suit chats this evening, dude. I appreciate it. Hope you're doing well and, uh, you know, you had a good Christmas and uh, hopefully you did well in the, uh, the banquet event. Okay, I did not mean to... Uh, Shit down that alley. I think I just need to accept the damage is high in this one. I'm trying to be a bit conservative in my potions. <laughs> but too conservative is also going to get me killed. And I don't want that. This just needs to play a little, a little bit better in some of these fights. But they are... Opponents are quite chunky now, man, for what kind of power level we're at with these three stars.
Why nice, that should send us into ignition. Let me just finish off taking down quick. Hmm. Okay, then we just got, I think, Moon Knight. We got Symbiote Spider-Man. I think the Symbiote Spider-Man, has he awakened? Everything else on the path is awakened, so I'm assuming he is. I'm assuming we may need to worry about countering Evade. And now I think the Storm Boss is actually, I think she's quite chunky. I think she's got a lot of health. Um, I remember her being something of light, light note, I think. But that was also before Storm had different animations that make her... She's a bit more tricky now. Oh, I was going to go try and heavy counter that, but I would have gone clapped, so I'm glad I didn't. Okay, nice. Let's move over to the four star box. Maybe this is... Well, this is technically one of the harder paths. It doesn't really matter. It's like whatever path. Oh... Is that a revive? Hell yeah. I'll take that. So we'll deal with this Spider-Man. Yeah, god, this Spider-Man's gonna suck, isn't it? I actually ideally just wanna ignite before I get him to any special attack. That's what I wanna do. It's like I wanna ignite special two. So I don't have to deal with uh, the special one damage. Like that's not gonna be good. We'll just power through here. Nice. It's a good thing about the Spider-Man characters is their evades very annoying, but they don't have much health, so they they die quite quick. And we got Storm. Yeah, what do we have here? Might might something Quicksilver. She doesn't have like a crazy crazy amount. Oh, unblockable finale. That is the pain in the ass thing about this boss. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's the that's the annoying thing. Because back in the day, I used to be like unblockable was like I just couldn't play against it. I think I can play against it now, but I think we're about to find out. <laughs> oh my god. That hit a lot harder than expected. Wow, okay. Yikes. Perfect combo with Quicksilver, Whiplasher, below that 25%. GG. The chat goes wild. That's that's all we need. No, damn it! Oh! I'm not used to the timing on that special one. I probably should have gone in hindsight. Like Mordo or Miles first. Ah, oh, because we're not in a good position to get this down without using a revive now. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay. Yeah, it's not too bad. I just I wasn't properly going for the evades. I was just going for the blocks there. It's not winning strategy. Especially when she's got prowess for days. Oh, 
Oh, damn it. I thought I had that second one, man. That last, like, lightning wave got me. Goodness. Um. <laughs> uh. Black Widow first. Slash about to go uh, Super Saiyan unblockable. Oh no, this isn't going to end well, is it? It's going to end horrendous. <laughs> yeah, she had too many brow stags there, man. She did say on Blocker Boy under 25%. I'm not too sure if that was popping up or if it only pops up on, like, hits. Um, Yeah, okay, I'm going to assume everything's on Blocker. I think that's the best way to assume. <laughs> That's a lot of damage, dude. That's a lot of damage. Um Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh. If the quest is too difficult, leave me alone, game. I can do it. I can do it, okay? I believe in myself. I believe in myself, I believe in the chat. The chat have got my back. They're definitely, I haven't read it, but they're definitely not calling me bad. They're, they're all like in my corner. They know that there's a, a chance we can do this. Maybe not that try, but the, the next one. Oh, I have to mess up that quicksilver then, eh, bro? This is the cost. Bit, bit, bit of slice of sanity. Chloro vibes. <laughs> I'm so glad that fight's down. Uh, so guys, yeah, just as a heads up, if you want to uh, progress on that fight, just make sure you get at dodging the storm specials, because, you know, they they hurt on the block, but if you get hit by them, you're dead in a shot. So that is uh, one of the um, fights that is a little bit more annoying now that it's uh, it's been buffed, but a bit more noteworthy than it previously was. It's a real end boss to be fave. Maestro doesn't go unblockable. Uh, minus 25%. So we pretty much be hacked for. So we'll take that, mate. We'll take that. First try, GG. I, I appreciate you playing into my delusions uh, there. Yeah. It's awfully nice of you. Um. Okay. So we got Thor Jane Foster here. I'm looking at this, this path, right? Oh, good, good work to the new alliance that I just joined. Tremendously well. I think we... Yeah, it's just the easy, easiest path around the edge. Is it even the easiest? What, what nodes are on? Okay, that's not the easiest. That's fully debuffing me. That is every six hit stun. Um...
Oh, is this the one with like the juggernaut in somewhere? Yeah, I think we just got the top. Like the magic, the magic's a bit of a pain in the ass. This double magic actually is a massive pain in the ass. She wants this path down here. It doesn't have double magic on, but it doesn't have an energy refill on. Or it doesn't have that mystery mutant. I don't know what the mystery mutant is. It was a good time though. Yeah, I think we just go top. I mean, it's got double magic. I don't think anything else is like majorly, majorly annoying. And then you got Ragnarok on the boss. So yeah, double magic's a bit of a pain. We've got we've got Quicksilver though, and we also get full energy refill. I think it's worth it. Just let's send it, mate. Let's send it. Yo, thank you very much, Brian. I appreciate it, dude. We're getting there. We're getting there. Five. Five more to go. We've done 21 quests in Act 4. 21? No, am I tripping? 19. 19, right? Yeah, 19. It's real number. 19. Five more to go. Come on, just, just sink her. Ah, uh, it's alright. <laughs> okay, nice. We only took 18% there, so that's pretty good. Quicksilver. Um, actually, I really like him for all the Mystic matchups. Hmm. I don't know if it'll take too much though. We can always heal them up. It's you know not a not a bad time to use potions here. Although there are a lot of potions needed for uncollected. <laughs> like those uh those oh, was it Bane is a pain in the ass. Or transfer timing on that. Uh, a lot of clip damage. But yeah, we still we still got some good four star champions to pull. We can see what we we'll see what happens. Oh. We got the uh the connection issues back here. Like this is some server issues. Everybody trying to get on to get their banquet rewards. Servers just just melting. Open crystals. The server isn't used to handing out this many six-star versions of Rhino. It's getting a bit stressed, a bit overwhelmed. Oh, come on. That's unfortunate, mate. Is there actual strategy for the Collector? The Collector is... There's, like, stuff you need to play around, like the Unstoppable. But for the most part... It gets to a point where um, the unstoppable is just there, regeneration's there, unblockable and specials you can't really do anything for. So you just need to get as much damage before you like die to a special attack. Unless you have a champion that can like uh, miss the special attacks, but also your ability accuracy reduction decays in that fight as well. So anything that you uh, want to work will naturally not work at the time. So yeah, the collector just uh, just sucks a bit. It's just not the not the most uh, fun uh, fun fight. But hey, we've done the abyss one, you know. So this this boy, he's he's not quite as big and scary. But yeah, you you really want for the collector just a team full of like five champions that can just go in and deal as much damage as possible. Like Quicksilver, it's probably really, really bad for the Collector, I would assume. Unless I'm missing a mechanic. There's also, I think he's got a pretty high chance to shrug off debuffs, and Quicksilver's like all about that debuff damage. <laughs> okay, dude, that Scarlet Witch matchup was really, really nice. 
I was uh, a bit hesitant bringing in Quicksilver. I thought there was a good chance I was going to get poisoned there, but one pro to having a newer account is like our crit rate's actually still quite low because uh, you didn't have the masteries yet, so that's uh, well, it's beneficial. Unit man and collector with a uh, maxed out Corvus. I mean, that, that certainly does work. Oh, I'm not used to Gamora's animations there. I think her special one is like her old special two or something. Yeah. A heavy attack is that blade on the second hit. I'll just stick to those. I think I can deal with them. She does whip it out quick on that SP1 though. I should have just gone for it. I think a special one. Yeah, we're good. I do need to learn uh, yeah, there's a few old characters with just new animations that I'm not up to speed on. Like Gamora, Deadpool's one of them as well. Uh, I think Storm uh, is not quite as... Uh, what is it ingrained as I would uh, I'd certainly like it to be let's get that special one down Right, perfect. I think we've got like double Iron Man after this, and then I think we've got a magic, unstoppable Colossus, and then I think we're at the boss. We're doing all right. Okay, so we've got uh, an Iron Man, then a slightly bigger Iron Man. Oh, yeah, I remember actually, um, I guess it's not really that much of a challenge anymore, but I remember like Arc Overload Iron Man just used to be something you needed to think about a little bit before um, Maestro. I guess, like, whenever I did the three-star Master Raider runs, though, we did, did it with pretty much every champion. I guess it was just back in the day when we were a little bit worse. Alright. Another combo. And we're good to go. We're going to use another energy refill here. We're going to pick up one in a second as well. One of the primary reasons we uh, we went down this path, man. It's uh, free real estate. I should have tried to parry that. Alright, let's dash in. Heavy attack. Heavy attack again. And he's about to hit his arc overload. We can probably, if we're lucky, get a good crit here. Smash through it. Ah, not quite, not quite. Can we get enough pressure on him? There we go, he went down. <laughs> I remember the days when, like, fighting uh, Iron Man, sometimes it was a little bit scary again, though, if you didn't have the right champion. Just heal back up so much, and then you'd have to get through the regen like the next fight if you wiped. That is just, yeah, it feels like nothing in comparison to the complexity of uh, some of the new characters and their crazy attacks. 
Right, we're hoping for good limbo RNG here to not get giga shafters. Trying to fund interactive damage. Okay, magical. That was really good. That's fade, and I missed the parry there. Right, just detonate, and we should be good. Oh. I think now Karas over? Yeah, cool. Okay, we took a bit of a beating on Quicksilver. There's two more fights that I want to use him for. Uh, one's the Unstoppable Colossus, and one is the final Thor Jane Foster boss. There are technically other options we can use for Thor Jane Foster if needed, but... Well, we'll see what happens, man. We'll see what happens. How far am I into? We are like... Four quests off Maestro or something. We're really, really close. Like 4.4.2 or 3 or something. Not far away at all. We start, we're on 4.2. So we've already done um, quite a lot of quests in this half of live stream. We've been getting two and a half hours on the second one so far. We've done, um, I think it's like 14 quests already. We're getting close, man. We're getting close, but it's still, uh, still grind, you know. Still, still some more to put in. All right. Completely depleted my Captain Marvel here, though. So I, I don't think I managed her resources as good as I could have. That was bad. I just, I let my guard down there. Okay, right. I think we finished the job off with Black Widow. I think we probably heal Quicksilver up 50%, and then we've got two more fights left to do with him. Goodness, dude. We, we took, like, a, a bit of a combo there. Shredded, mate. Look at that. Yeah, the damage is um, it's quite, it's quite a bit. Okay. All right, let's move on. What do we have next? Yeah, so it's just unstoppable Colossus. Oh no, I got Gamora as well. I realised I had that Gamora. Mm. That is uh, that's annoying. Cat Marvel's down. Right, let's make a clean kill of this Unstoppable Colossus. I think we kind of just chuck everything at Gamora. Nice. That worked out so well on that finishing special too. Mm. I think we'll start with Mordo on Gamora, then Black Widow, then Miles. Um, yeah. So let's hope we can do well here. I do hope we've got a couple of options left for the uh, the final Thor Jane Foster. There's nobody. Oh, damn it.
Okay, that shouldn't push, um... <sighs> yeah, I meant to go for the dodge back on that, not the parry. Ugh, froze up a little bit. Right, Black Widow time. Then Miles, then Quicksilver. No! Oh, mate! I thought we had that backdraft there. <laughs> uh, it didn't, didn't work out too well. Um, well, we the bad news is we're getting clapped by Gamora, but you know, there's a bit of there's a bit of a power index difference. And apparently, it's it's been uh, a a long day, and b I'm incredibly rusty. What got too comfortable uh, after that venom fight? Yeah, well, I think I probably shouldn't go for the backdrafts. <laughs> they a bit unnecessary. Come on, Miles, you got this, son. You got this. Oh, okay, I didn't know how to deal with that special too. Also, it's just that that's actually really easy. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't look just the special two before. It's not bad at all. It's all good. I mean, my, Miles, uh, if Quicksilver goes down, it's just going to solo this uh, Thor anyway. So we're, we're chilling. We're hopefully not going to embarrassingly die here with Quicksilver. That's the, uh, the ideal plan, the ideal outcome. Ah, let's see what we can do. PI is irrelevant. It's true, man, you know. You only, uh, you only take damage if you get hit and die. So less, less getting hit, really. I think it's going to be fine. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I'm glad I didn't need to use any revives in that one, man. I'm getting a bit worried about Maestro, though. Like, Maestro's not going to... He's not going to go down nearly as easy as he does in some of the three-star videos. I've fought that man a lot, but... It's um, been a while. It has been a while. All right, what we got up next? Oh yeah, this is the Electra. Oh, Electra's a pain in the ass, isn't she? Oh yeah. Oh no. Hmm. Yeah, because the Sig ability, so you can't like reliably parry her uh, if your character goes below fifty percent, and the attack values are silly, so everything goes below fifty percent, and she also has a chance to evade the stun. Oh, it's gonna suck eggs, man. This is gonna suck eggs. Um. Not an epic game of fight. Uh, I think we've got to go the way with Kang as well. Should be alright. I mean, all these fights are a bit of a pain, but. Well, we'll do what we can. I think for Rhino, I'm going to try and conserve health on Captain Marvel if I can. So she may be. Uh, Saving, saving grace or a decent option for that fight. Yo, what's up, Munchie? Hopefully you're doing well. Yep, 
Yeah, uh, the sigil, the summoner sigil is given, you get like a free trial of it for a week. So I don't know if you remember, it's like way back in the day um, when it first came out. I remember everybody got a free trial of it for a week, but that just automatically gets applied to new accounts after like a couple of hours. Actually, I should have stacked up a bit more. Yeah, that wasn't even near enough. Okay, nice. Yeah, those high physical resistance matchups are not a not a great time for Quicksilver, eh? Now we've got Captain America up next. Um, I feel, feel like that's an alright fight to ramp up. Uh, old Captain Marvel, mate. We'll see. I didn't even know she had nodes. I never read nodes. Good, good for you, friend. Yeah, this this Electra can be really annoying, but we'll uh we're gonna see. Nice. Hey. Yo, what's up, Jonathan? Thank you very much, dude. I appreciate it. Pre-COVID. Gosh, that, that period in history before we all stayed indoors. But even more than we do now. Crazy, dude. Crazy. Yeah, just it feels like a whole COVID era. It just feels like a fever dream, really. Just it's insane <laughs> like just the amount of random bullshit that happened yo samuel thank you very much dude a brazilian hug dude massive love to yourself and uh everybody else knocking about in brazil beautiful beautiful place i've never been but i i wish to go one day Okay, nice. We got Rocket. I'm probably actually going to need Captain Marvel for Kang. So, who else we got to fight? So, our choice is a Hawkeye, Drax. Yeah, I think we go Hawkeye, Drax, and that lot. Seems about right. Um. Yeah, let's see what we can do. I got shot in the face multiple times in that special one arrow earlier. I'm, I'm trying to avoid that. Wasn't, wasn't the best time. Hey. That was some really good crit RNG, actually. Very fortunate. Um, I'm liking where Captain Marvel's health is at the moment. How do I keep it there? So... We can keep her health there for the last boss, that'd be good. Um, but I'm probably going to take it to Kang as well. Kang's still got that base armor. I should just pre-detonate the stacks on this. Alright, that should finish them off. There we go. 
an Iron Man. I think Iron Man's a bit annoying as well. Um, it's the armor. Oh, screw it. I'm just going to go Cat Marvel. Shred through those armor up champions. But I do kind of need to keep her decently above 50% for just bursting down Electra. I can, I can use a health potion all too. Not the biggest deal here. Hang up next, so as long as I don't get too uh, enthusiastic and try and take that special two to the face, I think this should hopefully go quite well. I do not want to be a Kang special two enjoyer, because my uh, evading skills on that one are not good. It's not the trickiest, but special one just is, is a bit more my, my speed, what I'm going for. I don't know if I let the charges go a bit too low for Electra. I've got to get quite a few parries in now. Uh, I think we fully heal up on Cat Marvel and we just we just go for it, we send it. So this is Mesmerize Electra, and if we go below 50%, we pretty much lose all our ability accuracy and can't do anything. And just, well, we can still do damage, but we still then gotta just. We've probably got less than 10 hits till we got get killed by Mesmerize. Come on, don't mesmerize this. Fantastic. Bit, bit risky. Yeah, that this fight, as long as you're above fifty percent, pretty isn't too bad. Let's keep us stunned. Oh, that was good. I've had some really, really bad runs on that boss in uh, previous previous free to play runs, but I think we had more trouble on Storm this time around than that. So that was good. Uh right. Let's crack on, shall we? Three more to go. We're close. We're very, very close. I think uh, we're cut. We're coming up. We've nearly been live like ten hours today, dude. It's been a mission, a mission to get here. But that that second wind of energy, it's it's got to be coming. Oh, Spider Man, Spider Man. Not the man exactly I want to see here. Okay. So I, I think Quicksilver's not going to be that great for, um, friggin' what is it, Groot? But I think everybody else is satisfactory. Um, I think
think I think we start Count Marble here. Let's go. Yeah, we we didn't. To be fair, we had her stunned most of it, and it doesn't trigger while she's stunned. Um, so that's kind of the way to do it. I I just went for like a few cheeky shots at the end, which could have got me punished, but uh, we we got lucky. Um, but I was like, you know, I've still got a full roster of characters. Like I'm not that fast if she kills Captain Marvel here. We did, we did play that one quite well, though, around that maze. Okay, well, guess we don't need the special three to get ignited. Yeah, we got the uh, free chat. Okay, we got a pretty nice crit there. Just doing that one quick. Right, let's dump the special two. Our Black Panther might as well, I think, just did Cat Marvel for this one. Don't be terribly from the class of Savannah J. We're still live. We have, man. We have. Yeah. Then you, man. It's almost been uh, freaking 10 hours today. We're, do we're doing all right, mate. Maybe we did all right. What? My ignition just bugged. Is it? Did his like ability accuracy reduction uh, mess up my ignition actually giving me fury stacks? I think it did. I think yeah, that's the interaction that took place there, and uh, it's actually rubbish. <laughs> that should be enough. It, it does feel bad to lose the uh, the ramp on Count Marvel, though. And, uh, yeah, Groot's the boss here. I think this Groot, like, doesn't bloom for, like, ages or something. I just remember it being really annoying to kill. Uh, I think we'll just go Count Marvel again. Not too much point with Quicksilver having the disadvantage. Um, yeah, thinking about it, I think all my characters kind of suck for grit this group. <laughs> as long as I can still debuff, I think Quicksilver maybe is alright, because he can still detonate, right? Or am I completely incorrect on that, and I should not, in any circumstance, try and use Quicksilver? Please let me know if you've tried to Quicksilver a group and you have, uh, some insight. It doesn't, it's not debuff for me and it just makes me expire quicker, so I probably can't get like a mega combo, but I can still get the damage going. If I can still get the damage going, it's, it's enough to get down. I'm trying to get like a good parry. Oh, that was a bit tight. It still might actually get in there after. Okay, nice. 21 stack finish. Uh, yeah. But I did not um, consider that interaction even when going into the Black Panther matchup. Mordo for Groot. The Groot has like a node, which means like he doesn't go into his buffs until he reaches 100. So it takes him like several minutes to actually activate his buffs. I believe that's how it works. So yeah, Mordo doesn't work that well for this Groot. Unless you leave it several minutes and it's just so long to get there. But we can use, like, you know, we can use it if, like nothing else. But Mordo's not really like level up. Like Quicksilver. Maybe a little bit better? <laughs> Iron Fist. Ah. <laughs> uh... 
Is there, there like any synergy that makes Iron Fist really good yet? Did, weren't there like a few defender synergies that got out of them with like Jessica Jones or something? Is it enough to make Iron Fist god tier yet, lads? You know, is, it, is he made it? A six star group from the side quest crystal on your mini. Oh, goodness, my friend. Not, not quite the, uh, quite the god tier champion I, I assume you're hoping for there. <laughs> nice. My guy, do you not get bored of using Quicksilver over and over again? I mean, he's one of the uh, two really good champions I have now. Again, this, this guy's only 10 hours old, dude. It's not like I have a, uh, a wealth of different options right at this moment. But personally, I'm actually not bored of playing Quicksilver yet. Or um, Captain Marvel, I'm enjoying both of them. I think the uh, the only thing is like, it's just uh, a lot of the, uh, the same uh, kind of basic fights over and over again so i kind of wish i just had more room to this quicksilver you know he needs to get ramped up man he needs to, uh, some really big health pulls to get going i wish he had a, a little bit more room to shine but it's also like made me a much better quicksilver player today like i feel like i'm getting the combos a lot more consistent and uh yeah quicksilver's uh, quicksilver's gameplay is not the worst it's pretty dynamic a lot that goes on. Right. Might be enough. Perfect. Okay, we've got Magneto. I think uh, we'll stick to... Quicksilver again for this fight. Let's do it, mate. Let's do it. Yeah, Cat Marvel's fire as well. just be enough oh yeah <laughs> uh is even when you get those mini combos off like it all comes together it is is quite satisfying oh, yeah we got spider-man up next as well so we probably need to like heavy attack and then um what is it just uh dash back until we get enough to apply the slow debuff to him If I'd start like every fight like this, I would uh, <laughs> would not be enjoying Quicksilver as much. I like that he's got like a nice uh, bursty rotation. Well, as, as far as Quicksilver can burst, because he's you know more of a ramp up champion than anything else. But, you know, all you need on a new account is a champion that can get the job done, and you know he gets the job done. So. That's it. Needing a metric ton of ISO for upgrading. Yeah, dude, that's definitely the uh, problem. There's uh, uh, it's a mountain of resources you need to sort out rosters in this game. I don't know if I'm going to be able to source enough gold, actually. I think that's like one thing I'm potentially worried about for the, the push toward... Uh, was it friggin' uncollected uh, so soon? Is like the amount of gold available at the moment. I don't know what specific sources. I think there's like a few things. I, we got the sigil and we can get the gold quest there. 
and uh, maybe incursions is going to give us a bit. We'll farm a bit of arena. Like, am I going to have enough to take up um, four star champions? Well, uh, we're going to have to find out. But if we get uncollected week one, I'd be pretty happy with that. Oh, I don't know if I'm trying to be too ambitious in terms of my timelines. But uh, we'll, we'll see kind of what walls we hit. We still have a lot of options, a lot of stuff to explore. We still got the whole freaking Rockets event as well, which I'm sure is going to be a source of um, just all sorts of additional things. There's a really big amount of gold uh, in Rockets' um, side event. Yeah, I was thinking Solo Incursions as well. Like, Solo Incursions, I think, can give me like three... Um, Three more four-star champions, something like that. There's a there's a lot. Maybe it's worth going for the four stars until my five-star roster gets up a bit. I'm actually, I'm quite proud of how much better I've become playing Quicksilver today, because I was absolute cheeks earlier. For the first three hours, I was cheeks, and then I was mid, and now I'm, I'm kind of getting all right, you know? I'm, I'm just, I think consistency is one of the things that I really lack uh, throughout the middle of the day, but I've, I've got a solid handle on it now. I feel like more confident going into, uh, yeah, going into fights. Oh god, this group has so much health. Yeah, so he doesn't uh, use his, get any buffs, he uses 100, oh, till, yeah, he, sorry, he get, receives 100 attacks, so that's a lot of attacks there. I'm going to try Quicksilver, I, I don't have a good matchup for this, maybe, maybe Mordo, you could say, but dude, this is, uh, this is definitely a chunky, uh, chunky group. By far the biggest boss. I think the biggest one I've ever this is like 40k Hulk Buster, but this is a 64k group, which in uh, in normal fight terms is obviously not that much. In terms of a 10 hour old account, is a bit of a chungus. I feel like Quicksilver actually is doing all right on this fight. I feel like I should definitely use the special one there. Not too sure what kind of special attacks I should be throwing, <laughs> if any. I think just the special two has the the largest amount of like raw damage. Oh no! Oh my gosh, I got clapped there. Oh, that was just bad, man. That was really bad. Right. Everything's long. There's no shortcut. Um, let's just do it with Mordo. I think we just slam the special twos and eventually want to line up. Just need to make sure when we get 100 hits on the combo. We need to get to 100 hits on the combo first. That's the, uh, the goal.
Oh, dude, that group was so thick. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I messed up one of the uh, special two applications toward the end of that. I accidentally went for a special three. We got it down though. No revives. Big pogs, big pogs. Let's go. That is. Oh god, we only have two more to go. Okay, it's just the guillotine and maestro now. That. <laughs> that was long. I was like, dude, if I take one more, I'm dead. Please don't let me die. And then we lived, man. We lived. Great, great times, boys. Great time. I'll take that. Yeah. <laughs> Some of these bosses are a slog, mate. They are a, our journey. A journey to go on. Oh, no. Connection issues. Boo. Ah, go away. As long as it logs. Yeah, I think we're fine. We're in the quest. Uh, cool. Uh, the Gitty one I think is too bad. Where, where do we go again? Straight down the middle. I feel like we want to avoid this Ant-Man. This Ant-Man sucks, I think. Mm. My memory's telling me that Ant-Man sucks and I should avoid it. I'm going to listen to it. And then, what, what do we have here? Poison, leech. Yeah, we want to get rid of that. We definitely do. But then what do we leave up? What then, um... Get supplied. Hmm... Oh, maybe it's not doing that. Oh, it's like you pick your the one. Is it poison or bleed that you want to have to deal with? So yeah, I think we then go bleed. And then we just take uh, poison on the boss. There's some bit of decision making there for sure. It's not on the boss. It's just on Deadpool. Sorry. Uh, okay, let's uh, start. Maybe I'll just take on the ant man. Not too bad. It's just it's just that man. That man's a bit annoying, but we get through him. Ramp up on Electra. Smash through the Ant Man. GG. Just make sure we don't bring in Black Widow. That was the mistake earlier we made. Actually, we brought Black Widow to Ant Man. Wasn't a good time, lads. Wasn't a good time. Yeah, very bad time. Um, no damage. Only sadness. I'll tell you, mate, if there's some sort of event going on that's like, play Quicksilver, <laughs> you know, I, I hope I'm uh, one of the top candidates for today's top rewards, but I don't, I don't know if there's anything on that I've scored high in. Oh, that's nice and easy. It could start there. And let's go uh, just Electra here. Uh, Quicksilver versus Ant Man was pretty good. Um, the the glancing I think is still a little bit annoying, but it's not a terrible matchup. Otty MCOC raid. Oh, thank you very much, Otty. I appreciate that, man. Hopefully you're doing well, and thank you for sending the uh, the lads over. Right, one, two. So after this quest, it's Maestro time. And then it's the first four-star opening live after that. If I can get him down. Oh, that's bad. Dude, I've just got freaking sunk on the hit points there. Not really what I want to go for, but we'll take it. Okay, nice. Electra's down. We'll switch over to uh, Quicksilver for the Ant Man here. Need to leave. Probably need to do a few more fights with Quicksilver because he has a 
way too much damage there, Cat Marvel. Oh, we're close though, man. He's way too OP for this. I would say he's way too OP. I think, like, this time last year, if you create a new account, you're freaking Hercules. <laughs> now Hercules is way too OP for this. Like, Quicksilver, you still want to play well. Like, if you don't play Quicksilver well, like, you just ain't achieving anything. Your cheeks are getting clapped. And you get into the Shadow Realm. But like Hercules, you can like friggin' herp derp your way through the entire game. It's, it's a nice, uh, nice cozy walk in the park on a Sunday. Right, I'm just going to go for the detonate here. Oh, that's good enough, I think. That should be a KO. Nice. And then we've got... Uh, let's go over to Venom Pool. And we wanted to do Doctor Strange. And then flick to the Captain Marvel for... Um, it's a friggin' Deadpool X Force matchup. Venompool is pretty thick, to be fair. Well, actually, Venompool's a really good. I'd love to get Venompool. Venompool would be like one of the perfect um, early free to play, like five or six star champions. Am I right in thinking like Venompool's still pretty good unawakened? But his awakened ability is like a nice bonus. Am I right in thinking that, or? Is my assumption incorrect? I just remember, like, when I was playing the buffed up version, dude, he's just shredding stuff. I've totally forgotten about the reliance on the awakened ability if that was a factor at all. So, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see. <laughs> I feel like Net Mr. Negative, I don't think he's necessarily a, ca a character we that's top of our list on the free-to-play. I remember it being quite... He was tricky to play, but rewarding if you could pull off. But yeah, how was Mr. Negative age? Like, what, what are the thoughts on him now? So I just, I remember he took a, a bit of learning. The rotation was like a little bit complicated. Um, he felt really, really good. But then I don't think the damage was really there unless you had like the synergies and I think suicide masteries as well. But if you had those, mate, he's, I think he's popping off doing a nice job cleaning up a lot of stuff. Oh, hello there, Panda Man P. That's uh, that's that's a name I haven't seen in a while, dude. I hope you're doing well. Thank you very much for stopping by this evening. And yeah, Panda Man. It's always great to see the uh, the OG Ghost King. You know, grace, grace our, our live stream chat today. So it's a true honor. Well, that's how you know you've truly made it in MCOC, where there's like one champion and like people just think, oh yeah, that's like, Ghost, that's like, that's Panama Peace champion. It's nobody else's. It's like Colossus? Oh yeah, I've seen his champion. <laughs> what was my champion? I don't know. I don't, did I ever have a champion, guys? <laughs> I'm just actually going to throw that out the chat. Okay, when you think of me, what champion do you think of? I want to see if there's just like any collective. Okay, we all think it's it's kind of around this. It's like, nah, seeing you weren't cool enough. Oh, we still want to kill the bleed node. No. Goodness. Okay, that's not a, it's not an aggressive bleed node. It's moderately tame. Mm, I think we go in with... Maybe Spider-Man. Get him down a bit and then we finish with Quicksilver. We can maybe finish this with Spider-Man if we're really, really good. Big if. I mean, I'm looking at the damage comparison now and it's uh, it's not looking good. Blade? Oh, Blade? Yeah, Blade could be up there. 
Sunspot. Oh, dude, I'd hope it's Sunspot, man, actually. Yeah. Dude, I'll happily take Sunspot. Papa Luke. <laughs> well, there doesn't seem to be one thing uh, everybody agrees on, but I'm, I, there, are some, there are some good champions there, so. I feel like we've had we've had good stories with all of them, so I'm, I'm pleased. Ah, uh, bollocks. Okay, that was alright. We we got him down a we got him down a fair bit. I didn't know how to take the bleed now though. Um Yeah, we got this Dr. Voodoo. Yeah. I I do like to think I'm the the Sunspot OG man. I was uh I got a lot of stuff done with Sunspot, you know? He was always hating on my boy. I'm like, nah, Beyond God's here. Still Beyond God's here, you know? He still actually clutches some fat Ws. Uh, just through all sorts of random stuff. Turn 8. Perfect. Um, okay, Quicksilver's looking a bit mashed. He's definitely a little bit low now. And we've still got, God, how many fights is it? Oh, you. Quicksilver's not looking good. Cat Marvel's not looking good. Um, I feel like it's better to use the single stuff than the team stuff needed to get people up. Because we don't have... Yeah, well, we're doing okay. Just remember, to, uh, team revives in this game, man. They are, they are useful. Right, let's do it, mate. <laughs> Come on, big crits. Let's go. Let's slam it down. We got this. We're just going to full send it. Perfect. Level 30 as well. Sorry, I just, uh, I completely missed that. <laughs> it's a bit too distracted, but we've done it, guys. Level 30, day one. Let's go. That's halfway to 60. We're halfway there. So close. Definitely doesn't work like that, but let's, uh, let's keep the hope alive. You'll probably go to the Dene after this. Oh, dude, I thought we'd be a special two. Oh, unlucky. Special one and special three don't really deal the best damage. Grave miscalculation. Okay, Quicksilver's still alive, though. That's the... That's a good thing. Maybe we'll just try and cat marble all the fights up till uh Green Kitty now. What's the mood on this one? Okay, that's not nothing mad at all. Yeah, it's definitely vision we want to go for here. And we cat marvel the yellow jacket as well. There's one more fight around the corner. It's like another magnet or something. Ah, something like that. Then we're on the Maestro quest! Guys, the, uh, as we approach the 11 hour, the 11 hour, you know, surges, it's just hitting in. It's the, like, fourth wind of energy. It's going to play perfectly. Did take a bit of a beating toward the start of that. We got it back. Um, it's Punisher. Punisher is a pain. If I lose that cat Marvel, not going to be great for Punisher. 
I think we take advantage here of the class advantage against Yellow Jacket and just see if we can settle this with Black Widow. Mate, I love banging out 147 hits just to get some random fight in that <laughs> claw down. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. Uh, we, we did it though, you know. Oi, oi. Let's go. We got this. Oh. I'm, I'm starting to feel the end of the day, lads. <laughs> it's been a long one. But we're, we're almost there. We're, we're racing toward the finish line now. Um, I don't like the odds of surviving this. This does not look high. I think we need to... Uh, I mean, this looks like a little bit higher. Okay, well, we'll give it a go. Oh, let's do it, boys. Time to start upgrading. We're so close. Upgrades are for the casuals, bro. Bosh, that was was really good. That was really good. Cat Marble, slain again, all day, every day. No breaks, no excuses. Just results, man, just results. Okay. We got 2k health and a dream, boys. 2k health and a dream, it's all you need. All we need. And not getting hit. Or the hardest champion. Any gear team buffs I should know about? Alright, I'm just gonna lock in the damage. It's not optimal, but. Things if I die. Easy finish somebody else. Hey, there we go. We are we've done it, guys. We've done it. We made it all the way to the end of Act 4. It's Big Danny Maestro time. Your boy is burning the midnight oil. 
But let's go. We're on day one. Day one. Day one maestro. Oh my goodness, guys. You wouldn't believe it. You would not believe it. So. This Hulk, man. This Hulk. It's up there. It's pretty high, you know? Just just, just something to note. Just something to note, you know? Do you ever find this Hulk? Physical champion? Let's go Cat Marvel, mate. Cat Marvel, bring it in. Hey, what's up, Lasso Ninja? Dude, thank you very much. I appreciate that. <laughs> Dude, all this physical resistance is too much, bro. Devs? Devs? Can you do something? It's crazy, man. It's crazy. <laughs> Come on, look at those energy beams. Let's go, mate. Let's go. Hey, got a nice crit at the end. Oh, sword. Okay, let's crack on. Let's crack on. What we got up next? We're going to ambush by a mystery symbioid. And it's going to be. Oh, we're not getting ambushed. Okay. That could be bad. It could be it could mean we're getting ambushed later down the line by the one that's fully debuffed me. And if that happens, I am gonna cry. Uh, <laughs> so please. <laughs> please no. <laughs> please no senpai. Don't do it. Don't do it to us. Um, okay, what do I want? Quicksilver. I, I think I'll take Quicksilver for this fight, actually. Cause I'm thinking I probably want Quicksilver for the uh, the magic, but I want to make sure Cat, uh, Cat Marvel's in a good spot for both Maestro and probably Iron Man as well. Alright, I got super lucky with the stacks. Okay, now we can detonate. Let's get around there. Okay, nice, nice and smooth, nice and smooth. Oh, we're gonna have to see, dude. This, this magic kill has a lot of consequences here. Um, yeah, we'll have to see how fun the damage is, boys. We'll have to see that golden symbiote is waiting for me. Please no, please no, dude. Please. Not today, Senpai. Not today. Two Nimbos in a row. Get in the bin, mate. Absolute, absolute hogwash. Rubbish. Okay, nice. We can go for the safe detonation now. Not bad, not bad. Okay, we got a little bit unlucky at the start, but at the end, uh, didn't get the procs. So that's, uh, that's a good time. All right, let's go back to uh, Cat Marvel for this. Quicksilver's taking enough damage for now. It's Mar Marvel time, boys. <laughs> I was going to say Morbin time. <laughs> Dude, why was Morbius not on the Summoner's Choice, bro? He would have won easily. He's everybody, everybody's ready for Morbius to enter. But he he was, I think, on the first one before he became the cultural icon of this generation. You know, maybe because he's already gonna come out this year. 
Now they did uh, talk about, I think, some Spider-Man villains. And, uh, yeah, I mean, who more iconic? Oh gosh, dude! Imagine the memes as well. Yeah, I, I, I don't enjoy them. Yeah, it's got to be Morbius. Morbius has to come out this year. Um, it's just, it's just happening. It's fact, you know. Um, hmm. Don't want to use for Gamora. I'm not feeling great about these uh these Gamora new specials, avoiding them without taking too much damage. We'll see. We've uh the servers, man, they're trying to shut us down, they're trying to pull the account right now. Freezing up. Hopefully it's gonna let us through without disconnecting us. I think every time it's done this, it's disconnected. Has anybody else been getting that uh, kicked off uh, this evening? Ever since the um uh the event rewards started going out, it's been a bit a bit patchy. <laughs> Hope you will be paired with Milo. Uh, Milo's too strong for this game, you know. We need a, a more toned down character like Sandman. Logging hard about its loading screen. Yeah, I just, I just gotta wait, dude. We're like, we're like an ambush. Ambush and uh, three fights away from Big Daddy Maestro. Getting that free to play enjoying day one, act four, level 30, 640 units, dex and parry, four star quicksilver, no champions that I've actually opened by myself yet, but we'll get, we'll get that, we'll get that. Oh, the game has let us pass. Um, no ambush here. You've got to get ambushed soon by something, I think. This is a bit too safe. For a minute. Okay. Let's do this. Nice. That was perfect. We had the, the special wanted chain on there, just in case of an emergency. Uh, Want to see that go down to 13? Yeah, perfect. Oh, there is going to be an ambush before Maestro. What is the ambush going to be, though? Please, no senpai. Don't give me the golden symbiote with evade clown fiesta mechanics. Please, please be generous in your, your offerings. Let's get, let's get something good. Tech one would be good, I think. Yeah, we can just shred through that. Any problem with this is I'm slightly uh, out of charges for... Old Maestro Boy. <laughs> oh, but it's okay. We're gonna get the Tech Symbiote and not the, not the Golden, immune to everything one. Okay, we're getting ambushed on this node. Oh no, we're good. We made it through. We're clean. Ladies and gentlemen, we've done it. I think we're about 10, 11 hours in today. We've made it through Act 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 is by far, by far the longest, but we're here. Big Daddy Maestro. We've got 4-star Quicksilver. We've got Captain Marvel on uh, 4k health as well. Hmm. Do you want to practice try first? Get a bit warmed up? Maybe. Maybe we're like, maybe we're on Miles. Let's go Miles. Let's just, yeah. You know, it's been a while. Been a while since I dealt with this uh, the special one. Ideally, you just want to push him to special two, though. But that is uh, it's hurting my block a little bit there. And yeah, I need to uh, dash back a little bit later, uh, so I didn't get hit by the beam. That that's why we do practice tries. You know, you've always got to got to make sure if you're a bit rusty, uh, you get get a bit of practice in. Very important. Um, and now. The real kill comes. Completely one shot. We're definitely not going to die. 
many times in a row and waste free to play revives there. Zero percent chance of it. Okay, this is a bit suboptimal for Quicksilver's rotation, but it gets me to another specialty, which uh, I think is alright. I'm just going to detonate the, the Whiplash so we can lock in all of that juicy damage there. Maybe enough if we're really lucky here. Hey, we did it, guys. We did it. Look, it was the practice try, man. The practice try made all the difference. Um, we we just we got it out of our system. Sometimes, like I just I feel this impulsive need to suck at this mobile video game. And I've just you know one try, it's out, and then we're just playing playing better. <laughs> I would say perfectly because that wasn't. Yeah, that wasn't quite perfect on the old uh, Quicksilver rotation, but we did well. We got the title, we got the progress, so that's day one. I think um, we're in streaming now. I think it's like 10 and a half, 11 hours, something like that. But it's time, guys. It's time. This is the, the first proper four-star hero crystal opening. We had the Quicksilver, um, uh, what is it, leftover from the anniversary event. Uh pop up on the account this morning uh so let's go for it we're hoping for something um that has good utility good immediate burst as well i think immediate burst for the collector is probably something I'm, i i need the most uh, i would say or like a good way to counter masochism or a good window to get like bane over but let's go man i just i want it to be like a cool champion i haven't played about with maybe got buffed Maybe he's a new character. And it's going to be a four-star version of Heimdall. Not bad. That's, that's interesting. The synergy is very, very OP. I mean, that's, that's crazy for the rest of the team. Heimdall himself isn't a bad champion either. I think that's a W. I think that is a big, big W. Because like Heimdall, like this, the synergy is stupid good. Like that is, you know, especially if we're punching above. Anytime we would die and mess up, that's like we save forty units and we get another try to kind of claw the fight back. It's a big W, big big W. So yeah, I'm actually really pleased with that. And also Heimdall, he's a, he's a bit of a beast as well. He hits um uh, quite hard, not as hard as some of the absolutely broken cosmics, but his damage ain't too bad. Can counter evade champions as well. So yeah, he's got a few few little bits and bobs in his arsenal, mate. I'll happily take that. Uh, but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for the end of day one of the, the free-to-play adventures. I'm absolutely knackered, mate. But I've had a really, really good day. Uh, the live stream's been absolutely phenomenal. Thank you to everybody that's tuned in. Uh, thank you for all the super chats as well. Uh, we're definitely not going to indulge in any of those offers. Um, but yeah, thank you. I'll, I'll be on tomorrow. We're going to do some of the, the side events, maybe incursions, kind of check out like what additional stuff we can do now. Uh, we've hit uh, the title to kind of prepare for Act 5, because obviously the roster uh, on day one isn't quite ready. 
uh, at my skill level <laughs> for the uh uh what is it the freaking collector yeah but we'll uh we'll, we'll get there soon man we'll get there soon but anyway ladies and gentlemen thank you all very much for watching take care and i hope you have an absolutely fantastic day now we'll uh, just wait a uh, second for the live stream to finish up but uh yeah cheers everybody thank you for tuning in uh, and have a great one